Hello, 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 hello. Okay, there. My mic should be working now. All right. Welcome everyone to Square Table 1.0. As you guys can see, we have a beautiful square right in the middle. Um, and you guys are there for the first time. Chat is showing on on the on the little table. You guys are right above me. So, uh, this square table. Why is uh, as per usual? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Basai. I will be the host. As per uh, as as actually not per usual because it's a different event. Anyway, speaking this time around, rather than getting getting our players from or highest leaderboard here in NA or in different regions, uh, I decided to invite people based on different aspects of the community. Uh, mainly speaking, some of our creators and other things, and because of that, that's what we have the the current uh shape that you guys see this beautiful square uh for my legend of Zelda fans uh they they know the the little different corners of the square have a great uh, meaning to them i am currently sitting on the wisdom side just like chat was right above me because they're very wise uh although they're somewhat powerful too because they grief all of us in game but I will be introducing each one of the players, and I may I cooked up a little video for them, uh, so you guys get to see a little bit better of who they are. Um, so the first person that I'm going to be introducing to you guys will be the voice of Team No Flame, Frankie Dudo himself. So let's go and watch a video to see a little bit more about Frankie Dudo. By the way, you guys need to tell me if you guys can hear this. Can you guys tell me in chat if you guys can hear this? You guys can. Okay. All right. I'm just going to play the video now. Three, two, one. You guys stop. Guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my god. god. I thought, wait, I Dude, you're so stupid! Lee! Okay. Zen. I do like cum though. Cum's pretty good. I watched this. This is no gag reflex. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Some exploded here. I'll give you guys a. <laughs> Right, that was Freaky Doodle, Mister Mister, the first person on the on the power side of things, one of our talented top players here in NA. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. And if Frankie is the voice of No Flame, our great SWAT team, then this person has to be the fucking speaker, and that is Anot, our second participant here that I invited to join us today. Who currently is on his phone since he's on the way here, but he's here uh, with us, surely. So let's take a look at a nut. Wait, <gasps> you guys didn't see that. I clicked the wrong thing. She's better than me. She's so much better than me. Alright, GG. I'm fucking gap. How, how do people do this? I'm 
He's beating! I wasn't eating food. I'll do even better next time. Dude, you're so dark! You're so dark! You are nothing! You are but a fucking ant! Everyone hates you, Frankie! That's why I thought shit about you. <laughs> worthless! They gave it to me! No! Oh, one more! No, Lexi, please! Please! I will do anything! I will. Please, please, please! No, please! Please! Please, we have one more! Please, one more! Anyone, 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 I will team. No, 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 I'm the biggest teamer. I will learn the AMI account. I will AMI. Whoa, 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 what are we doing? Whoa, whoa, I'll give infinite LP. You know? You know, what are you doing? You're about to show something incriminating. Why are you appearing offline? Who are you hiding from? Me. Bowser, you do the same thing on Steam. Shut your ass up. Okay, but... You guys didn't see anything. Wait. Let me. Okay. Anyways. All right. There we go. <laughs> you guys did not see anything. Okay. So. Anyways. Uh, that that was Mr. Latona. We all love him, Mr. A. Not himself. We 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 we're glad. No flame is gathering here with us today. Uh, with that, I guess all we can do is jump into the next uh, member, which, I mean, you guys, by this by now you guys know who it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the next member. So let's keep it up with our powerful players. Um... Meow 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 That's 16 One Chiara Oh fuck wait I I'm fucking dead Oops Oops Ain't no way, man. Are you serious? Bro. So, think. Wait. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I deserve to die. I'm up. Wait, wait, yo, hello? What is happening? Why is Alpha chasing me? What is happening? Why is it chasing me? <laughs> yo, what is this game? This game is this game is bugged. Is it still chasing me? It's still chasing me, man. Bro, it's what is it wants its revenge for all the times I've killed it. I think I think I have purple aggro. Hello? <laughs> You guys didn't see anything. You guys did not see that. Okay. You guys did not see that. I was I was too immersed in the video. Um. Uh, um. Anyways, so we got some here. We 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 know and love. And well, since you guys already saw it, uh, I mean, Mr. Uzma himself, he who is a little bit sick, and he did just lose in TFT, so he's having a bit of a downtime. But I I believe in him. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at what we have cooking for Uzma, the last person in her top side triangle of the powerful players for the game. Oh god, oh god, oh god, fuck me. Goodbye. Wait, 
Oh! Oh! All of my friends were also buried. What the fuck? You know what? Hey, it's Ginty, Corger, Dowser, and me. It's all of my mods and me. They're gonna one v nine v two. I swear to God. Oh, if they, if they, if all three of them come to this zone without fighting, I'm gonna lose it. Like that. Like this. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Uh, we should have more timer than them, right? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, where did you go? Alright, refunded points in one minute. Good luck. Oh god, why? Oh god. Guys! Alright, so it's like it's like knees bent, right? Alright, alright, here we go. So, so, so. He spent uh, a, little, a little of this, and then, uh, uh, I don't think my camera gets it enough. I can't, I can't, I can't even back more. That's it. That's all you get. So, pulls up. Okay, I finally paused the video on time. Good luck's me. Um, we're learning. We're learning. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our Uzma reveal on the last person on our powerful tier. Uh, on the top of the triangle. Uh, a square, the top of the square. Okay. So, alright. With that, now that we've got that going, it's time to jump into our last... and to the next category. Uh, for... The the or, or next category for the for the green side the courage those who step forward and take one step and, and and do and create things that nobody else would dare do or content creators specifically speaking those who host events or create additional content for the game those first and foremost I want to start with the one and only Master To Clue. To introduce us into the courage tier. So let's take a look at Clue's introduction. No! 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 Oh! Oh, it's a, it's a fucking bot. Oh! I'm getting teamed up. By oh my god! One more time. I got you. Uh, th th that... Yep, I'm just downloading that one. I hate poor people. I hate women. I hate men. The only thing apparently I like are cats. I'm sorry, I'm racist. <laughs> I'm Korean and I'm racist. She hasn't seen anything. Um. Uh, just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I learned. <laughs> I thought I learned. I didn't. Okay. Anyways. Um. So. We got Clue, usually someone who's, you know, behind the scenes, but this time stepping forward to speak for our, our great game that we all know and love. So with that, I do have to say the next person that we have is, well, Clue will be making the tournaments. We got to have someone casting them. And that would be Circadia. Uh, but I think because of his schedule, uh, he is currently asleep. Um, so uh, we will go through his introduction video. Uh, he's just not currently here yet, right now. Um, but yeah, also, uh, for Circadia's uh, video, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a sound warning uh, near the end. I, I recommend you guys be careful with the sound. 
also circadia is someone who's been uh through a lot of the game he's probably the oldest person in the community by now like he's been all the way since alpha all the way here um so uh, i tried to focus his videos in all the different aspects of the game his cast the bugs all the things he's seen through his career uh so i hope you guys uh enjoy it Just a little bit more damage. Adela goes on in with the checkmate. There's the breath of the dragon. It's gonna. Whoa, 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 what the? Uh. Um. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. And they're. Okay. Uh, rep, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh huh. Um. Huh. Oh, wait. Actually, free. I just saw it too. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Plasma Sword Yuki oh. taking down Mirai Bell. Okay, so that means he's definitely going to be looking for lighters here. He's probably going to be able to transition in. Oh, wait. It looks like he's going to have another kill. Rikamon. Oh, my and God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the anime pro tag crits. That is my MC. <laughs> Theonic. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> Ow! Did she teleport? No! Like, did she use her ulti? Yes! Chat, show me this guy's balls. Okay. Wait, guys. I give you guys a sound warning, I told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who dodge, guys? Who dodge? Anyways, um, but yeah, so Kate unfortunately is live right now, so you guys can't see his picture in here. But someone who I thought would be late, but actually not late. And on top of that, got uh got got to be here on time and brought his viewers over which i appreciate so much let's look at mr tom and what he has cooking for us so let's take a look <laughs> i'm gonna get weird don't don't walk next to me. I've had a lot of hardships in the last couple of games. I'll get weird on you. <laughs> Dude. Huh? Uh, cut! <laughs> My pussy aches for a cut. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, am I gonna die? Okay, it's not me. Not not that there's anything wrong with slurping on some nuts, but it's not. Adri, me. big fan of balls confirmed. Dude, my top clips are literally just bussy clips. Just me talking about Wick bussy, and Wick doesn't even have a bussy. Yeah, go for the bussy. What are you doing? Well, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> okay. Sorry, uh, let me let me uh let me regain my composure. Uh, yeah. So, I so for the most part for all the all the clips, I try to have them be normal and then slowly go back into more of their personality. But for some reason, um, I don't know why Adrian Thomas clips are all that way. Like I felt like all of his top clips were that that kind of way. But I mean, uh, that was interesting. But but yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of just just goes to show. I mean, that's that's every Toma for you. Um, but yeah, with that, uh, we do actually have one more member, uh, one person that you guys have probably never seen me interact with directly. Um, a person that in fact I was scared of back in 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 
previous seasons. Uh, but we do have one more YouTube goat next to Adri Toma joining us. And that is Levi, who unfortunately I don't have a highlight reel for since uh, he mainly is in YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm glad we have him here. And with that, we will be concluding um, all of our um, introductions for our players. Uh, we're hoping Circadia gets here within time. But with that, we can actually start. And all my players can now speak freely and uh, give me your thoughts. What do you guys thought about the little high reels I cooked for you guys? How, how bad were mine? They were pretty shit. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what, so what happened? What happened? It was you missing a cue pop and you calling me bad words. It wasn't oh. very nice. Oh, oh. and also your, your wiki oh, was it, on the key. Was it the one the hospital, like that one, where we start barking at each other? The, yeah, that the one. Different yeah, one. That one. That, that's the class. Like, that one's good. That one's good. <laughs> Is it just me, or are we not sitting at a square? What do you mean this is a square? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Oh yeah, let me get your 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 slideshows with your with your takes. I forgot. Okay, we got everything going now. Everything's good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad you guys enjoyed those. Uh, that you guys were uh, were, were they were, took a bit going through all the clips, but it was it was a fun process. I was having a good time. Um, and I hope uh everybody enjoyed them in the audience as well. I will go ahead and introduce us into our first. Uh, I guess icebreaker. Just, just what was y'all's favorite change of uh, the new changes that we're getting? What was your favorite thing that happened? I will start. So I'll, I'll go ahead and start us off. My favorite change was the uh, objectives having uh, like a middle point checkpoint. That's my personal favorite change. But what was your guys? Do we have an order we're going in? Go ahead, Frankie. You start because you spoke. Mine's is the deletion of solos. That's my favorite. Bro, change. that was gonna be mine. <laughs> yeah, oh, too bad not <laughs> to go first. Oh, so crazy. You're lying. <laughs> oh, too early, too soon. It's too soon, man. We still got a couple days. Come on, let us cope. Thirdly, I, I, yeah. I mean, if you if you've been in Franklin streams, you've seen him on dozens of rants about our solos with a failed design, no future game mode. Uh, he's passionate. Oh. Yeah, he's just passionate. I'm passionate. Exactly, exactly. Do you want do you want players that don't care about the game or do you want passionate players? You know? Yeah, I know. I want people who care about my game mode. Oh. Oh. Um, okay, anybody else? Anyone else had a different a different uh, favorite thing? Could be anything, could be skins, it could be anything you guys are looking forward to. Oh my god. Oh my okay. god, yeah, the new Bring skins coming. Skin? Holy Very fuck. Crazy. That's not fair, man. It's... Yeah, can we talk about that haze skin though? Hey, the... yo. I, the Adina, the Emma, the Chi, the Chiara, the Kathy. Like, oh my god, they're they're bringing out the big bucks for this one. Oh the. Oh no. Okay. Skin's looking good. All right, let's jump into. I guess a topic. Let's start with a like a simple one that uh, I guess we could we could all share our thoughts. What do you guys think about the the summoner spells? The new the tactical skills. I think is the name they're giving them. What what do you guys think about those? I think we need to see more of them. That's what I think. Yeah, I don't think we have enough in, like we have, information we got like, yet. We but... got five of them, and then two of them are flash. It will we definitely spice Earth. up the game. Yeah. Yeah. We have Earthquake and we have that healing one that they showed with the Fiora on the Wolves that one preview. And we have like the, the two flashes. I think they're gonna be fun though. Definitely. It's gonna be another another variety you can bring to a character. Okay. Anyone else has a different take? Any any thoughts on uh different okay i also um, think they're good i think they're good because they allow more depth in fights and then the only downside i can really think of is 
like maybe a small increase of complexity, but I don't think it's that bad, especially since it's just stuff from League. And also, obviously, some people are worried about Flash being too good, but I think it's fine for them to add Flash, and then if it doesn't work out, they can just remove it. I, just, I think it's worth trying out and see how it goes, to see how it goes. Yeah, I just hope that like the other actives are going to be good enough to like compete with like Flash. Because it would be really bad if like everyone is running the exact same like summoner spell, basically, right? So... I'm kind of curious on like how input buffering is going to work with them. I think that's like something that's going to either be a problem or just not be an issue at all. Oh yeah, like uh, I think they showed like Bianca like pairing Flash with R, right? So yeah, we'll I just worry that like some spells aren't going to be like reactable. Okay. All right, that seems pretty good for the most part. It looks like for the most part they're exciting. It just kind of depends on how they implement them, and we need more information for them. Uh, I guess in terms of other new things, what do you guys think about the map changes? Both opening up the map, getting more inside stuff, and in general splitting like pawn and stuff. What do you guys thought of that? I think the jump pads are goofy as fuck. What the fuck, oh, the fuck is wrong with you, Cliff? Come on. Dude, no, dude, I'm with blue on things, that. Those things are so. It, it's like. Well, what happened? Really? You need to get from the stream to the pond. How else are you going to do that? I don't know. You think, Surely they could come up with a better way than, like, yeah, like. <laughs> zipline would have been the free that. idea. Like, I mean, they, they wanted to do just... zipline, but they didn't have time. <laughs> so, a zipline's uh... a jump pad, but with extra steps. I don't get that, it. That is kind of true. That is kind of true. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's true, but it just looks. I feel like it just looks. It, it, I, don't know. I mean, it's, it's like cobalt. Odd. It's not even all over the map. We only have two, right? It's just pond and then the sun one. Yeah. I think those are. That's like my only thing. I think everything else is is fine. Like opening up the map, um, like less choke points, um, making it bigger, more zones. I think that's all fine. Yeah, but yeah, especially since you're adding like two extra teams as well. Yeah, I think you're a lot less likely to get uh, just griefed by a third party on like a bridge or like a hallway now. Like every every place has like a new corridor where you can walk through. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be pretty nice. Even if you do, you can always buy back your teammates now. <laughs> oh my. Okay, well, since we mentioned the topic of uh, buying teammates, what do you guys think about the, the new credit system? I mean, the real question is like, is Frankie worth the blood? Right? I don't know. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. I, don't, I, don't I think we call the blood of a Reiki, honestly. <laughs> it's a tough decision. No, it's uh it's pretty cool that you in yeah, a car you... crash. Oh you died. Not a car crash. Hello? Yeah, There's bad. a lot of quality of life changes. Like I'm kinda worried since they're adding so much more of like farm and adding like herds and everything, like how the credit system's gonna work, but yeah, truly I feel they like planned like, everything yeah. out. I feel like it depends on how much things cost and how many credits like like hunts give you now. Especially with like the, like you said like the hordes and shit like that. Um, yeah, but 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 there is another like credit sink now, right? Like you have to upgrade your your tactical skill too. I think that costs credits. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so I think wonder, like. I think the change they did, where they're making it so if you kill someone with gold items, just all gets converted to credits. This thing is oh, as well. that is probably like the best change that I like from the, like from all the changes. Just because like, it felt really bad where like if you kill the right person, like you could easily snowball and get like two or three extra transitions. But now they made it so it's like it's equal for everyone. Since no one mentioned it, I also want to mention it also helps when you're making team comps or squats, and before you really couldn't. Like you wouldn't want to run like to like three Korean people or three amp people. Well, I run three amp people. But, three well, amp I mean, people. I mean, we didn't run it though. We didn't run three amp. <laughs> no, it, awesome. it can work. It just felt extra bad if you killed like a crit player and they had all the items for that team. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. definitely, I've definitely thought about pivoting to AD Fiora halfway through a game before. But uh, I think it's also cool that the the transfer console or oh, the kiosk, sorry, has no cooldown, so you can just like. You don't need to like feel pressured to like make intervals with credits just for spending. You can just like play a game at a normal pace and then just thrift it all whenever you want. And it's pretty healthy. It's gonna be pretty good. 
Okay. Since all right, that, that course credits pretty well. I'm gonna jump into one of our to call one of our uh, participant topics. So for the participants, they have to fill out a survey whenever they were invited to the table, and I had to ask them what kind of topics they wanted to talk about, and I list them out here, and then I'm gonna be every now and then I'll I toss one of the topics they wanted to talk about. So to start us with, um, uh, I'm going to start with Korea versus the West uh, in terms of like advertising other things. What what kind of things you guys would like to see for the game in terms of uh, the way they're advertising for NA and other regions over here? <laughs> Considering like Korea already has like YouTube ads and stuff like that. What kind of th thing do you guys want to see? And I'm going to go ahead and also call up Adrian Thomas since I, I know he has the upper hand in this topic yeah that, that was my topic um yeah my biggest concern <laughs> is the game comes out they're like yeah we're advertising and it's like all in korea um i don't know it, it's like they had their gen g partnership which um a few people in the community were also a part of and that didn't seem to go too well and I'm afraid they're like <laughs> kind of like burnt by that. And they're not going to really focus in the West as much as you'd expect. What kind of advertisement do you think they should do for well, West? Their issue is uh, they've never had like a good piece of media to do traditional, right? Um, they had that the guys in the wigs and then the Jackie and Luke animation. Um, they'll, they'll still have like their thing that they're working on, their big animation. But like you saw with like Omega Strikers, it's like, well, like you can have this like really nice animation, but the game's got to back it up. Anyone else? Anyone else? Any thoughts? I, on okay, I, will, I will say, I think uh, as much as I would love uh, a, a big influx of players in our play, in our region. I think we do have to understand that they are, you know, a Korean company, and Korea is always going to be their main player base. So, I mean, God forbid, it's like anything goes bad there, you know, the game's just dead. I mean, we like I like to believe that we matter to them any any bit, but we really don't. I mean, we kind of exist. Uh, but I think they, I mean, I love some little support and I know that they are going to give us a little bit of support at the launch and I'm not looking for another XQC sponsorship, but I think we, uh, if it's not up to people's standards, we got to understand that this is a company. They got to keep their, they got to keep their books green and they're going to, I mean, they got to do it over there, you know, advertise to their big streamers in Korea. They got to, they got to put posters up. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, and a is such a big market, though. It's like, yeah, I, I, I get why they focus in Korea, because they've already kind of got their, like, hooks into a player base there, but NA is just so big, and, like... <laughs> I think there's, like, definitely sense. opportunity, yeah, like, over here. But, yeah, but we, we've seen, I mean, just, like, like, I mean, if you compare it to League or other games, MOBAs here just aren't... I mean, BRs are pretty big, but I, the general MOBA is not really as massive as other games or other genres to the the public eye especially i mean yes you can obviously find success and i i mean i really hope they do advertise to especially like higher elo or just like just league streamers in general or just something i don't know no more of this i, I maybe not the vtuber angle again but i mean god god forbid i mean i know we're getting something but, you know hope it works out I'll put yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried because there's only like six days left that I don't think like we haven't really seen any any big marketing push yet. So do we know if they're going to mark like release like for preseason or like when the game like season launches any? I don't know, oh, if yeah, they will, know. but I don't think they should because there's so many changes. The odds like the game isn't like <laughs> yeah, performing be... <laughs> well on the first couple of days is pretty high. Um, yeah, balance is going to be off performance is gonna be off yeah i'm thinking more performance and like just i if we can like all get into games reliably the first day then i'll be i'll be happy well um, there's only squads and i'm pretty sure like we'll be able to pop like well i mean it's more like server, server maybe. Yeah, yeah. Server. yeah oh yeah yeah 
Okay. But uh, yeah, we'll see. It's fun to think about. One one final question on this topic. What would you guys be? What would the magic number be in terms of player for like here in NA for you guys? What target you guys want to hit? Ten million. <laughs> Twenty four. Well, I think I don't really. We don't really know the exact number in NA, so. Like it's kind of well, hard to say, right? We know. Well, we, we can gauge by our leaderboards, right? Like, well, you can gauge oh, by you mean like, team okay. charts, like just pl player count. Oh, like team charts. Team charts count AR too. Or my yeah, yeah, it's kind of well, inflated by KR players, right? Well, they have, they have bit, their own. They have their own thing too. Yeah, well, I'm still use Steam though. Yeah, like half of them use Steam, half of them use like the if, Cacao if launcher. Then, I what, think. what number would you like to see in a player count? That's that's the main thing, just in general. Like on launch, uh, I guess it doesn't have to be on launch as long as we we get there. Like if they decide probably, to not do immediately advertising, it's fine. As long as I'd we like to see, see at least like like fifteen twenty k, but I feel like that's holy cope. Like yeah. That is all, yeah, I don't know about that. I would I would just like to see whatever like KR has right now. <laughs> what what do we have now? Like like two, two. like three. Two. Yeah. Uh, oh, two point oh, four okay. on Steam. Two point five. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I would like. Have... Yeah, I would like our NA player base to just be what KR has right now. Oh, that'd be great. I love that... just some diversity, you know. What is yeah. KR? I just, have I just right don't want to see all you fucks every game, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I need Hello? some diversity in my lobbies, bro. No, like it, no, it's kind of right about the ladder thing though, because it's like. Right now, at least in the higher ELOs, it kind of feels like which top player is going to get five kills day two and take over the lobby. So I think like an evened out experience kind of would feel better than an influx of players, for me at least. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, my, my like measuring uh, for success is usually just comparing to other games and people are like, oh, is this going to be like a league or like an apex and there's like a 0.001% chance that happens but i think like a more realistic standard is like what if we were close to smite <laughs> or like a smaller uh niche game i, I think that would be a lot more obtainable yeah uh, is smite it? alive yeah, yeah i think so. it, is. Oh, yes. it is yeah so then you feel like a cold well, like last night they have yeah, 10k okay. average players. Yeah, well, they got the that. avatar in there, bro. Oh, they, that's they, more they, like, so I've be, like... seen their skins. They kind of go crazy. I'm not <laughs> yeah, gonna lie. Yeah, what's it called? Uh, I was talking to Aesop on, on my stream the other day, and I, I think Smile was exactly the game he brought up. Like a 10k to 15k dedicated player base. It's like a good measurement. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of agree with that, like a smite, any, any game like that could be fine, and I'll be happy. I do agree with the idea that uh, I don't want to see all of you in my game every single time. Um, but, uh, especially because, well, a lot of that was solos too, because matchups were such a thing. Like, every time I see Super, I'm like, well, unless, like, 10 of us fucking sacrifice ourselves into the Sua God and eventually kill them, then I can get second place guaranteed. Just because I can't do anything. I think with squads, that will get a lot better. I won't mind as much seeing certain teams as long as I can outplay them somehow. Um, yeah, I think especially since once you hit Mithril, like, all the top players will have to solo queue, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about that, actually? The new rank system and uh, uh, with, like, the Apex-type thing as well as the Mithril being only able to solo queue. I think it's cool, but I feel like a lot of people are going to get even more ranked anxiety. They're going to see like a minus 20 at the top and they're going to be like, oh, fuck, <laughs> it's over. Uh, I don't think it makes ranked anxiety any worse. Maybe a little bit. I don't hear people complain about ranked anxiety ever in Apex. I don't think it's. Oh, really yeah, a problem. yeah. I think people do the opposite in Apex. People see they minus 20 down. And, they, and they just rat, and then the moment they hit zero, yeah. they just run it down. Yeah. I guess, yeah, okay. Apex also has quicker games on it, or like. What's the word for it? Like faster keys, I guess, and the game can go by a lot quicker. Yeah, I just hope the system doesn't work like Apex right now, because like it's like super shit. There's like yeah, a million Apex master system, players yeah. right now or whatever. I think that's more so they changed numbers and fucked it up because they've been doing this yeah. system for a while, and then now it's like the worst it's been. Surely they don't mess with the numbers on release, right? Surely. I just wonder, like. So when you enter, is it going to be based on your rank or the lobby average? 
It's based on your rank, I think. Your rank, yeah. It is how Apex okay. does it anyways. Okay. And I think the solo queue thing is good. Obviously, I think they, they really talked about it in the dev stream. I think if we had a good enough player base, it'd be nice to have a flex queue as well, kind of like League. You can still play with your friends, but I think if you had to choose one between the two, which you kind of have to, since you don't want to split the player base like that, I think forcing solo queue Metro Plus is good. Because currently... Oh God, sorry. Currently, um... I feel like if you want to solo queue and high elo squads, I know you're just accepting that you're losing like 99% of the time. Yeah. Versus, like, it's really hard to win versus like pre mates and squads high elo if you're just like solo queuing, messing around. Do you guys know if the solo queue thing is also for KR? Because I feel like that's going to be interesting with like the kind of circuits that they already have set up. Because like I know people talked about like affecting team practice and stuff, but like for NA, it doesn't really matter because we don't have like the scene. But like I think for KR, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it I, don't for think, as well. I mean, yeah, I don't think it would it'd be different for for us. Yeah, I think um, most right. of um most of KR's top teams already play. I think they already do scrims over key. Like I think most yeah, of the yeah, top yeah. teams don't. Do oh, do they really? That much? Yeah, they, they do like so. custom custom scrims. Yeah, like a lot of time. Okay, so yeah, for NA, I think we just do the same. I'm assuming we're getting a circuit again next season by how they decide to, or describe tournaments in the Q and A. I'm assuming it's just another circuit next season. Okay. In terms of uh, circuits, so far the circuits uh, format and all that, have you guys been liking how the formats work? Any any changes you guys would like to suggest for circuit changes that we can pass over to NNAI? Smile, anyone or clues? I know some people TO. talked about like it being less about like who can make the most tournaments and more about like average tournament placings. I kind of feel for that, but I also don't know a good way to approach that. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, I think right now it's too heavily based on how many tournaments like a full team can just attend and and just like make top six in. Because uh, like if if you can, if you can like guarantee that you're making top top six like every tournament, uh, then then you're basically guaranteed finals. You know what I mean? Like this circuit, we only had four NA tournaments, I believe. Um, so it was like you get top six in in three out of the four, you're probably guaranteed to get into yes. into circuit finals. I think what I would have liked to see would have been like official events being held, like maybe like just like one or two being held by NN or something like that, just to just to like fill the void. I feel, um, I think season eight circuit was a bit better because there was more events happening. Uh, I think overall, I think it was like closer to like eight or nine tournaments that happened um season eight um and it it felt a little bit better uh in my opinion um i i i also think it was kind of due to the fact that they they changed it from eight to nine where they made it so it was only squads tournaments that counted first circuit but um yeah i'm not 100 percent sure on that um i don't know I, i i feel like it it just it felt like it was just left too much up to the community TOs to kind of facilitate the the circuit like the way it was set up, at least for uh, right now. Yeah, um, I would like lo- to see, I would like to see them on their own do more and like they do that for have their own. Even do they have like official no, tournaments no. for the? Oh wait, yeah. wait. Like have, for like... Korea, do they have like official tournaments for circuit points, or is it all? Is it community? It's mostly. I think they do, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all official. I don't think it's community based at all. Mm-hmm. In terms of like, I mean, I think a lot of that was just season nine problem. A lot of people just, or like TOs or even like players, just didn't play much season nine because they didn't change anything. And it was kind of just like uh, a waiting room. Uh, from my yeah, end, uh, as someone who was hosting events on season nine and then did in season nine, well, it was a lot less active. They changed from uh, solos and deals to squads only, it was a big thing. Because, I mean, I like hosting the, the solo events, and if I had to restrict it to make it count towards circuits, I would have. But I I was like, nah. Especially, too, because, like, I mean, all the TOs in NA also, like, you have to work with time, and that's a big thing. It's like, oh, you're going to get the weekend. Oh, you're not going to get the weekend? Then, okay, well, I can't host anything. Because then that's the other thing when you guys mentioned, like, oh, it would be nice if... Uh, it wasn't like, oh, you just have to show to every single event and do every single tournament and then do that. Um, because then it would open to people hosting on tournaments on weekdays too, probably. Uh, since currently we pretty much just have the weekends and whatever weekends we have, that's how many tournaments you could potentially run. 
Yeah, I agree on that. Um, I definitely think the they need to change something about how placement works for the current circuit. Uh, I definitely think they need to incorporate something like that, uh, like you guys have mentioned before. Um, something, something where like they like take like the top certain amount of like highest placement, uh, like uh, tournament placements, um, for a certain season, and then that's like your your, your total score um, for each group. I think that would be fine. I I mean I I don't know. We we haven't gotten any word about any anything about like a future circuit. I guess I guess. Like what Frankie said, something something in the the dev stream, um, but nothing official yet. So I'm I'm curious to see also what we what they have in store for official release. Yeah, I think in the Q and A it was asked like uh, any plans for tournaments next season. I think they just said uh, similar to what we're doing now, or and they just run something like that, or like uh, plan to continue doing tournaments something like that. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll see. Well, with that, we can go into our next topic. Let's see. Uh, let's talk about uh, one of the other participant topics that we have is the effects you guys think we'll have on the game from uh, 24 man lobbies. What do you guys think will change from it? Uh, so three extra teams? No, two extra teams. I think since the map is more open, it, it's probably fine. I don't think, I don't think much will change, but that's just my opinion. I just hope there's like more fighting because some of these squads games I get in, it feels like I'm going like five <laughs> minutes, ten minutes without seeing another team. Because mm -hmm. um, there's like six teams, I guess five other than yours, and then one or two die early, and it's like, well. Um, I, I think I think they could add more teams. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't even see six team lobbies that much. The majority of the time on NA, it's five teams. So yeah, like fifteen. Yeah, so it's pretty. I'm curious but, what they'll do for like. Is it just gonna be twenty four and twenty one pops now? I'm assuming. If they, I think it's just twenty four. No, I don't think. Well, think they, you don't think they, they said it would go lower. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. it's just like our current system where you're like, it'll pop with one less team if it queues too long or whatever. I could see it popping with like eighteen even. You think 18? I feel like that's kind of low. Well, <laughs> it depends how the game's going, than, you know? Yeah, I mean, if it's, just one, right now. if it's just one Q, I think, like, we'll, we'll probably pop, like, a decent bit where, like, it mm -hmm. probably won't even be necessary, but I don't know. I mean, because well, it's, it's going to be three Qs, right? Normal rank squads and then Cobalt. So, and like, Cobalt, yeah. you would think, hopefully, we can pop, like, I don't yeah, know. 20, 24 7 pops, surely. Surely, but if uh, it functions anything like normal solos, like there's some MMR stuff that still goes on that is like <laughs> forcing people essentially into different queues. So Not I don't sure. know how prevalent that would be, but it's because we're too good, Tom. I, I've been in the shadow realm for the last like year. <laughs> I, I'm, more, I'm messaging the partner cord like every month, like, hey, I can't oh, yeah, play I the could. game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just make, do you have some, I, don't know, I think the solution, you just make Smurfs or you have a yeah. Smurf that you play normals on. I play, but then sometimes they send you to like new player hell. So you pop with like five bots and eight new players and just. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yep. Uh, another thing I, I wanted to mention uh, since. I mean, there's some people I saw in chat mention like, oh, looting is going to be problematic or whatever. People have to have in mind that they not only added like extra teams, but there's also extra zones now. And um, I don't think they said anything about removing loot. So I'm assuming there's going to be more loot in general. Yeah, and no accessories too. So that's like less items you need to build. Yeah, there's no accessories. There's also the extra zones. I'm really hoping though with the extra zones since nobody mentioned it. And I guess it goes into Adrian Thomas' uh, mention of like more fighting. Uh, that they finally fix like acceleration because with all the extra zones, if acceleration doesn't work for squats when closing all the all the zones, then we will see like absolutely no fighting. So I, I think even to this day, like when there's like two to three squats, like uh, sometimes the, the map is like huge, and it's like please close down. I think the problem of it was like. If there was one player alive from like each team, it would count as like that team still being alive. So that's why like acceleration was like really slow. Oh well, yeah, they should change that. 
Yeah, yeah, for like just the amount of players that are in the game. Yeah, it's going to be really neat with the extra zones, I think. Since uh, I don't know how they're going to be doing the, the closing of zones, how many zones close. Because right now it was like two zones per night or whatever, or per cycle. Well, as long as there was no acceleration. Yeah, but now there's extra zones. Um, but yeah. Okay. With that, let's go. Hold on, how much time have we gone through? We've gone through 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, I guess you mentioned it. You guys have any thoughts on removing accessories, I guess? Other than the fact that it, it makes engine your build faster? Any any thoughts? Uh, I think it's fine, yeah. I, I'm yeah. curious to see what they're going to do with the lost stats. If they're like, going to put it into characters, are we just going to lose those stats? But yeah, I mean, I think the main the main reason for it was to reduce build time. Because I remember way back they talked about I think removing green items. Because they wanted to definitely they've talked about it for a while how they want to reduce the amount of time it takes people to build, like reduce that phase of the game. I think this is a fine way to do it. I'm just I think another reason was because of the the actives, right? Like they wanted to get rid of it and put it into the yeah. into the spells instead, like the the tactical skills. Personally. And this is more because I'm content creation brain, especially now that I'm, I've been posting on YouTube. Um, one of the things that I'm glad I don't have to explain to people anymore when they jump to the game is that their accessory is going to have to be, like, they're going to have one blue item and everything else is going to be purple. Because that was really oh, good yeah, to yeah. people. So I'm happy for that, personally. Yeah, outside of that, I mean, they, I agree for the most part that they just wanted to make things faster um in that topic um i guess since uh, they, they changed uh day times right the cycle timing uh um, i don't remember what the new timing is i forget uh, i think do we have a decker on it i forget huh whatever well while we we get there, the information or whatever. Uh, what do you guys think about the the reworks, the character reworks? Let's jump into that. Any rewards in particular you guys really liked or really disliked, and overall, like thoughts on the reworks? I, I haven't think... read the newest one yet because I usually do it on stream. <laughs> but, I think uh... Sua got buffed, guys. So I, I, I don't uh, know. No, they changed still what happened. <laughs> They, they removed her Q stun, but her RQ can stun now. So, like, so you can stun like multiple people. And her RQ stuns if they're marked. And they're... Yeah, you can still Q stun. You just have to pick between Q stunning and knocking out. Yeah, but I mean, so like, Q usually... applies bookmark, and if you Q again on top of it, yeah, it yeah, it'll stun. Oh. But usually, like, in squads, like, if, if, if I'm versing a good team, I won't hit Q stun anyways, right? Like, I'll just go for E knock up. And the E heals now, too, which is. Uh, that's kind of nice. I don't know. I think that a lot of these reworks are good examples or good shows that I really don't think they're bringing back solos anytime soon. Yeah. Nah, so bro, many of these done. characters they've reworked, they're like, these characters just would not work in solos anymore. Yeah. It's like, Jover, like, bro. Leon, Eleven, like, Leon and Eleven are two really good examples. Eleven Shukai. lost her, Shukai. yeah, Eleven lost her instant taunt and double auto attacks. So now she's legit just like a, and that just, she just would never work in solos. And then like, Leon lost his W auto attack and power. So yeah. he like, I was like all his damage. So he just these characters like were not working solos anymore. And like yeah. Kai or like all these mages. Like Ava is another good example where it's like without a wall hop, she just wouldn't work in solos. She I think fought. it's fine though. Yeah, like these characters had way too much like utility. So focusing on like one mode is is kind of how they have to do it, right? So yeah, it's the right direction. I think. I just think it's solos ain't coming back. I think yeah, it's not it's not. Time, well, yeah. I think, I mean, I think they'll bring it back probably in the distant future, but not, not as soon as people want it to, you know? If, if they bring it back, it's going to be like a Mickey Mouse for fun mode. Like, Bro, what there's do you no think way it's going to be now? completely viable. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think Solo's <laughs> done for the past two years, Super? <laughs> Let's be real. Like, we've already had our hand, like, if you think back for the past, like, I don't know, year, we've already had Johan, Priya, uh basically be unplayable because their team is yes, so a lot more no it's okay, like, so like half half the characters they so, work just don't yeah. work oh well you know just don't pick them pick strong characters i don't know what to say no, but back. uh 
It's a, uh, it's fine. It's chill. I think that my rework is, is kind of best. I, I got a strategy cooking up with us. It's gonna Wait, be. What, what did they, what did they do my? with my? I didn't, I didn't read it. What happened? So she has, so she, they, she lost her pin mechanic. It's just gone. But now she always gets her E2 just for free. And whenever she, she can't alt enemies. And then when she alts her allies, they get her W. Oh no! Oh, e E two no. ult your teammate into the enemy team. That's oh, what no. I'm saying. I'm oh no! E oh, flash e oh, I like that. I like that. I'm full super <laughs> in, and we're gonna start ramping. Oh yeah! I like all right, it. All right, all right. Okay. There's gonna be a my Estelle and Lennox on every single team. Every single what if, comp. What if I see Simu in your pull? Hey, not. What do you, oh, what no. are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> really? That'd be crazy. I don't know, actually. I've I've tested. I, <laughs> yeah. I'll pull Frankie in. Okay. Well, I think the the Lena, I think the whip skill change is pretty good considering it's gonna be squads. I don't know. I mean it's pretty OP in solos too. It was just pretty OP. It's actually the best weapon skill. But uh well, yeah. Whip skill getting completely like reworked. Oh, uh, what did what did they do to that? It's no it's, longer a hug. It's just like a. It's just damage now. Yeah, and slow. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like a cone in front of you. Oh, nice. Yeah, but they put whip skill on Lennox W. Yeah, oh, yeah. Two more stuff, I... though, yeah. Huh? It looks like it's slower, shorter range in, on a delay. Yeah. It's fair. That's really what it. My old whip skill is kind of, kind of BS. Gold. Uh, okay, do you guys think Laura's. New alt, or I guess like the way that it works now, will have collision. Because I was talking about this with someone earlier, and I was like, if Laura can just like mark someone in the back line and then alt through the team with no collision, I think that's pretty OD. But if she like hits the first thing, even if it's not marked, I think it's pretty shit. Well, how does how does she mark someone who's in the back line? Well, no, they wouldn't be in the back line like standing there. But if they're like up front and then like dash backwards, mm, I'm. Or flash out, I guess now. I mean, I get, I think it probably would just hit the first person. I don't know. Maybe it just does more damage. Uh, I think it would hit the mark target because isn't Laura over right now that she only like brings you with her if you're marked? Yeah, I think it's yeah, just like, a straight shot to the back line, kind of. Yeah. So kind of like Nikki all right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like except you have to aim it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, Levi. What do you think about crossbow Razia? I don't know how that's gonna work though. Wait, Rosie got a crossbow? <laughs> no, yeah. They're talking about how they're gonna give her one. They're talking about it. Yeah, they're what thinking the... about it. Did he still got a she, hammer, she bro? Look... What on about? Like, she doesn't look bat. so goofy. I mean, bat kind of makes sense though for Sue, I know. Like... I mean, what bat? What are you? Does, what amp bats are there? What are you? Uh, like what do you magic mean? stick? What a magic stick? stick. Yeah, and there's ghost stand like, oh, too. Yeah, magic. There's, there's some good ones. I forgot. My bad. I forgot Tia Dell exists. You guys aren't ready for the for the Q bat skill into R stun. Oh my god. Oh wait, 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 we're gonna have so much CC. It's crazy. The hammer skill is pretty nice now. It is, it is, yeah. Hammer skill is kinda of miss. Um to call since hammer skill is on topic right now. What do you guys think about the Hyung Wu change with the defense rate on all and all that? Anyone? You got defense for non assault. He he got his. They e, moved it from E. Yeah, they moved it from E, and oh. the, and the all also knocks back. Bro, I got a. Oh read right, the right. New I did journal. see that. I think it's fine. Like I I think they're trying to steer away from amp woo being able to one shot and auto attack woo being able to kill without R. So it kind of just makes him have to do all his buttons. So I'm fine with yeah. it. Yeah, he's a pretty silly guy. Share isn't he? Huh. I think the alt knocking back is funny. I don't know how you're going to use that. What do you but... mean? It all knock back into E. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh my god, you're cooking. Wait a moment. Because that, that applies to armor shred. And then you yeah. E them. Oh my. You e Wait. the Q and then your team is there. Is the armor shred after like the R hits? Or is after it like... After the R hits. After well, the R well hits. okay. Yeah. That's like the thing so with like input first, buffering. Now. On tactical yeah. spells, uh, like if you can flash R and knock someone into your team, like oh yeah, oh my you, you god, the, the insect, the, the <laughs> yeah, insect. insect, oh my god. But the problem is, it doesn't really knock back that far, even fully charged. So, 
I don't know. Fine. It's a good CC though, disrupt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? What about uh, the Adriana one? Adriana, what do you think about that one? Oh, well, they announced that before uh, they announced Solos was gone. So I got to spend like a full week of just like trying to do some mental <laughs> math on how this character is going to work. Um, but I actually think she'll be good still. It's just like changing play styles. Like I, I played squads and duos, mainly duos for the first time like this season, like more seriously. And uh, I, I just play as a support. Like I, I hardly light my fire most of the time um, or light my oil slicks. But even without the CC, she'll do a lot of damage. It's just like, I don't know. It, it, she she gets really she, close to the fight with her Q. Like, you, you get pretty <laughs> close to some uh, heavy damage dealers and you don't have your R to, like, peel them off you. I'm like, well, maybe, like, the little flash augment's going to come in big, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm just excited to do damage again. I... Kind of tired of playing her as a support. Amen. Well, in squads, usually you like like you'll have two people that are peeling for you, I guess. So maybe it's not that bad. I think as long yeah. as they overcompensate on her damage, like it's fine. Especially since like they are changing to a squads like oriented game, they're gonna get rid of all the multipliers. So yeah, she she'll probably 20% do a lot. percent more damage. Well, the, okay, the multiplier, the multipliers are only gonna last for preseason, and then they're gonna rebalance everything. So that's just fake. By the way, <laughs> I'm pretty sure like. If they let Tia and like all these other characters like just stay the way they are, the game is gonna die within a month. What do you uh, mean? They're gonna get re they're just gonna get their base numbers readjusted because it's the main game mode now. You know? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. I think I will have my main numbers readjusted, but I do also think give me more damage, bro. Eighty three percent. Yeah, hello. Age... <laughs> oh, I need the, some the percents are gone. Yeah. The <laughs> Well, no, but I mean, if what I know they're saying is essentially that the eighty-three yeah, percent is just a hundred, yeah. and it's like, I you know, um, give me actual damage. I already lost my knock up and all my other shit, my near sight. Surely I can get some more damage, guys. Um, what even topic yeah. is this again? What do you? <laughs> what was what? What was the topic we're on? It's just right right changes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, I I will say it's kind of like messed up on Nimble and Moran to announce all these character changes before they announce that. Squad yeah, the soul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make, like they, everyone was cooking up and like panicking and just like shaking, and then it's like, oh, it's all chill, you know? They're just playing you, but. Yeah, I thought that too, but then I thought if they, like, first, like, frame one announced that they were moving solos, I was like, ooh, I think the backlash would have been bigger then. That is true too, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. It, like, like, it would have been more sense to go, like, solos removed and then the character changes, but yeah, I was like, man, I think a lot of people would have tuned out a lot of the changes if it was just like, oh yeah, we're removing your favorite game mode, so, like, now you have to deal with it. Yeah, but isn't that, how does that change people's reaction to finding it out later? Well, people probably just wouldn't care about the the dev journals, right? Like they would probably they're already it invested in Booba yeah, Haze, gonna, you know. If they're not going to play the game because their favorite mode is getting removed, why does it matter when you release the news? Am I? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because this way, you already gave them like a little taste of what the new game's going to be with all the new stuff, and they're like, "Ooh, I want to play." And I then it's like, "Oh." <laughs> Yeah, you just slowly feed them the information, and then boom. You're, yeah, but see, if you did it first, the, but if you did it first, they would have just left. See, it's genius. Yeah, exactly. And they're gonna leave anyway. It doesn't. No, okay. it's more to do it oh. later. I think no, it's because they're more invested, they're less likely to leave. And especially since they did the they did it in a dev journal, not a, or they did it in the dev stream, not the dev journal. It wasn't. All I'm saying, it's you got. It's not saving my boy Gemma's. Okay, mm -hmm. you saw all the Ava changes. If he was out frame one. Okay. It's so, good riddance, bro. It's, good it's riddance. Just, yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? If Cassie can get all of them together, Ava can get one. I don't know, man. Surely like, they overcompensate on damage. No, no. Ava, Ava doesn't need damage, nor needs a dash, nor needs anything. That unstoppable bullshit plus vision was way too much. Get rid of that shit. You play Adela. You know what? No, we're not. We're yeah, not. and you guess what? I hit a queen because you didn't like you. You just got hit by it. Oh wait, I unstoppable through it. Oh, I hit a, a root on Tia. Oh, I unstoppable through it, bro. Get off the fucking wheelchair. Anyways, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, okay, well, th those are reworks. Uh, I think for the most part, we didn't hear, uh, we heard a lot of positive things, uh, especially considering it's squads, and a lot, it's a lot easier, I feel like, making characters work in squads, but a lot of balancing will need to be done on release, uh, for a lot of them, with numbers and the new kits and all that, and tactical skills, so it, it is a lot, um, to kind of think of and all that um but yeah so uh with that i will jump into i wanted to go into the uh future of esports topic which was circadia's topic but he's still not here man it's actually just dead so i don't know if you guys want to go through that um like the na esports or what i guess esports in general is what kind of events we just like to see and uh they got they're, bring back world. They're, bring flying back world. Us, they're flying us out to KR. I'm telling yeah, you. Bring back world. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Just, I mean, what else is there other than really tournaments, I guess? I mean, we haven't seen anything else, have we? I mean, like, I don't ever? know. Would you, if, like, would you swap the current circuit for something else? Like, would you like to see, like, an ERM here? Would you like to see, like, that kind of thing? Well, isn't the ERM basically just another circuit? Like, it's just more tournament games. You know, I... I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You want to see land events? What kind of what kind of thing? What do you I mean, okay, a land, land I'll tell you, so. I mean, land events would be good. You no, know? it's yeah. like I don't. know. I feel like the country's uh, too big, little bro. It costs <laughs> them so much to fly one out compared to like Korea. Oh, I feel fly, like uh, maybe just like a. I mean, we already have a solid tournament structure. I guess they could probably, like we talked about earlier, they could probably solidify and make it like more official on Nimble Neuron's part instead of relying on the community for everything for tournaments. That would be nice. But there's not really much more to ask for, is it? I mean, we have tournaments. Uh, we get to play games. Maybe more or maybe, like, more accessible tournaments. Now, that that is something I, I am a bit worried about is with uh, if we have a, if we do actually get a big influx of new players, there's going to be an instance, right, where um, these people are, might just struggle to get into... Uh, I don't know, just tournaments based off, I guess, previous stand, like, uh, or even like, because uh, there's no, um, if you want to practice with your team, you we're probably going to have to have in-houses, right? Yep. Because you can't solo queue ranked if there's a tournament. So we're going to have to host in-houses for like squads rank practice. And if there's new teams, I mean, they're probably not going to get a big slot. No, like there's not going to be massive priority. What the hell's going on here? And I'm a, I'm a bit worried about that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. What if, what if Numa Neuron hired Clue, and that was our official tournaments because they're now, now Clue is and then Clue. I think Clue would down, get the game would die. I think, It'd be oh, I think Clue. Guys hate Clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's just fucking Jover, dude. I. I feel like doesn't Clue make more at his current job than he would ever make at Numa Neuron, or what? <laughs> I mean, if all he has to do for Nimble Neuron, uh, like, is host tournaments, then what's that any different from keeping both jobs? Well, they should just pay him right now. I don't know. Like, uh, I'm I down. agree. I agree. They should pay me to host the tournaments, not bring them out of my fucking poor ass pocket. Yeah, they should do that. <laughs> They're already making the circuit run through community only. Dang. They might as well sponsor them. True. I'm not asking for much, like, like a hundred bucks or something. You know? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not yeah. greedy. I'm not greedy. No, I'm just playing. It's all good. No, I think I think like uh, just like more official tournaments. It, it's it's really it, it's generous of them to to host the the circuit and and you know uh, being willing to to fork over all of this uh, all this money uh, <coughs> for the community. But um, I, I I'd like to see more. Um, I'd also like to see more from like the partnership program and stuff. Uh, I feel like they're doing pretty well. In season eight like in terms of like events and stuff like streaming events and things to like get partners like um and and creators to be like more like interact more with the community in the game uh but i feel like season nine i feel like they kind of dropped the ball like well, it's just the dead season that's, that's yeah season. but e but even then like yeah. it's the season right before official release i feel like they could have done something you know most the partner events we got were new character releases now right we'd have the yeah, oh, the like, yeah there's no new 
Yeah. There was a couple. They yeah, catch but... releases, the Valentine, and a few others. Like yeah, Leon. they have those uh, those other events. I mean, like the like the create. I guess I don't know. Like just play with the creator, get a emote and a code or something. You know, mm-hmm. season. Yeah. Uh, I guess sure, we can we can cover. I think most of us are in the part of the program here, except for like maybe a not. Sad. I'm not either. I'm. Well, I'm you're a creator program. I'm a, I'm a creator. Yeah, but like, Levi I'm... and I both creator program. Yeah. I, I, how are you not in the part of program, Levi? So I don't average more viewers than the game has players. But what about your <laughs> YouTube crazy. qualifications? Yeah, YouTube should have yeah, shut enough now. Qualifications. No, I have to average sixteen hundred viewers on four videos a month. I'm just what? not gonna hit okay. that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. There's no way. I'm just scamming the system, I guess. Because I barely stream <laughs> anymore, and I still get my codes every month. You average really? sixteen hundred in a month? What are you talking um, about? Four videos. Oh, like separate? They each have to have a thousand six hundred. No, you just have to average it over your top four videos per month. Yeah, so you like I can like average it over like my top eight. Oh, huh. That's interesting. I'll vouch for you, don't worry. Official release, and then it's gonna go crazy. I'll vouch for you. Oh, yeah, I feel like isn't everyone here like making YouTube content? Like, I saw Nearly. Frankie and Sport start doing it. Oh, uh, I think <laughs> so, yeah. YouTube content, uh, like half of not, not even half of us. Uh, the, the biggest, oh, okay. yeah, half of us are, or actually more, more than half, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'm crazy. I find it harder to like sit down and edit a video for like an hour or two than to like stream ten hours. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I, I think like... that's pretty obvious. yeah, because <laughs> like <laughs> when, yeah, when you're streaming, you just you just turn your brain off and you just yeah, you know you just mode. play game, right? When you're editing, like it takes some brain power. So it's cringe. Yeah, it's it is what it is. Just pay someone to do it, bro. Go on Fiverr. Oh. Fiverr XD. <laughs> I know you bring in big bucks just to like oh, hire another fucking millionaire. We do have editors Frankie. in the community though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've talked like, to them. No, I think uh, I think it's gonna be good. You 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 start out with the educational videos to the gameplay. Start a se- start the next season. You go like to the moon. No. Okay, since we're on it, I, I guess. But let's 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 close out partner program stuff so for the partner program what kind of other events would you like them to bring back or introduce any any ideas for the partner program to improve in any way um bro i just want some reason to be in it <laughs> you don't like the sticker you get to put on your stream man <laughs> i see i mean so like we get, Are you get the fan kit too <laughs> yeah we get a thousand at free np dude the real uh, rich i mean like so like i was like I, I wasn't really like part of the community before I started streaming a lot, and like man, I used to see like some cool shit they used to do, like the yeah. lemon events and all that shit. Oh yeah, and yeah, then as are, soon as I started badass. streaming and stuff, like all that shit went away. So it just kind of sucked. Yeah, it's like, like fine. You unlucky. It's <laughs> like uh, unlucky uh, events, yeah. <laughs> you joined when everything went downhill, though, bro. I don't know. It's unlucky. Yeah. Aren't they getting? Yeah. Aren't they getting rid of like the, the like MP or no? They're not getting. It. I doubt it. Okay. That that'd be the end of. Of everything, and what's the point? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. I think, uh, I think, I mean, honestly, let's just wait and see, guys. I know, uh, I think Cacao, um, not trying, not trying to flame anyone, no flame, has not really been the best to, especially our region. Um, kind of an invisible force. This, uh, so uh, it kind of sounds like flamey, not I'm gonna be honest. I think, uh, maybe we see, we scale. Don't worry, Uzma. He's the only one that's creator, or and, and Leva is our creator, so he can say whatever he wants. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have no moral obligation. Yeah, but or I haven't seen Cacao do enough. I feel. Oh, they probably got told to do less after the one ad, but uh. <laughs> but they did that ad. That was them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> to, to be fair, though, um, with Cacao, if you look at it. They're working with like other games too, and the people there don't like. There aren't developers, or they're not like uh, community members of like the game. They're literally like just like working their nine to five. <laughs> so I I'm not like surprised that they wouldn't be as like passionate about the game, and they're just kind of checking off the con or checking off the boxes and like the nimble neuron contract. But at the end of the day, I I don't know. That's on Nimble Neuron for having them as like a publisher, right? 
yeah. should have got a better contract. I don't know. I think, well, I read it actually. It, it's on uh, like a, it's on the website of what like services they offer. Yeah. And a lot of it's like so vague that like it can just be like checked off anyways. No, it's uh, I think it's a real shame. I think uh, I mean I thought Gen G was great for the little bit we had them. The, the contract was too long with them. Because yeah. once, like, like a few of the streamers, like, with Gen G, um, I could see, like, actual, like, a decent amount of people from their audience, like, trying to game. Like, mm-hmm. I remember, like, H. June had a solid amount of people converge, convert. Um, but then you'd go to, like, that Nemesis Caitlyn stream. Oh, and I'm like, no one's going to play the game after <laughs> watching ooh. this. And then you have it for a full year. So, yeah, yeah. it's tough. I mean, there's always going to be ups and downs, but I think I do think that was better than with Kakao. I mean, oh, yeah. I like Kakao, but yeah. I, know, I just want more. I guess I'm a little needy. Listen, but... I'm just saying, if no one wrote once, I can run the partner program. I got it. <laughs> I've, I've given them more than enough feedback. The main three th- like, listen, this is all you need to make us all happy, okay? Right. All three. The main three things that we care about is one, that we we want to grind to the partner program and feel like oh we got there. It's like a goal to hit. You know, we don't want just it to be a sticker on our stream. Right. So then you do that, and then for whatever you do, like drops are fine and whatever it boosts viewership or whatever. But I think ideally, the best kind of rewards you could ever provide us, even more than NP and all that, is unique rewards. People make people check out different streamers and check out each of your partners because each one of them offers them a different reward because of that mm-hmm. things like emote mm-hmm. like whenever we each have our emotes um and things like that those have always done the best um and it makes like viewers feel a lot more special so they should do unique rewards rather than just give everyone np or give everyone the same sort of rewards every stream even though it might be a little bit harder to pull off i think it's worth it and then in terms of events, events need to have more player say in them. Usually they announce an event and they run it with whatever they announced originally. I think it would be a lot better for them to do it backwards in terms of like, oh, we're planning this event. What did you guys think we should improve on this and have more communication with the players? And then we launch the event afterwards. And if they do those three things, we could have a beautiful partner program. Yeah, I, I I'm think... I'm I'm sold. I'm voting Passant for uh for ER partner program representative, bro. It's over. I, I think one <laughs> reason people don't like think they get too much like bang from their buck now for being in the partner program is because of like the op like the season, nothing's going on. And then the season before that, honestly, nothing was really going going on as well. They're probably already in the process of like prepping for release. Um, but when I first joined the program, um, you, you had like a bunch of different like opportunities. You're like, Ooh, I could get invited to like the lemonade thing. I could get invited to this little IRL, like dream hack thing. Like, um, and I think like the idea of like, Oh, you could potentially do cool stuff is a lot better than like, Hey, here's like things here's currency. Here's drops like i don't know i think that's a lot more important yeah i think events and participation and all that was it, it's a big plus of like oh you get to do this and that uh but those events also need to be good because for example in season eight they were hosting a lot of events and mm-hmm. i'm gonna be completely honest i signed up to the first one the second one i left my feedback and then i dipped uh, for any of the other ones i saw that they changed barely anything from the previous ones based on the feedback they received and I just did not want to participate in them. They were not particularly fun. Those uh, events are so tough, though, because it's like you have half the people who are like, I want to, like, entertain the audience and, like, uh, like get some, like, cool, like, footage out of this or do some goofy things. And then you had, like, another group that's like, I want to win. I want to <laughs> I want to uh, run but, but, it. I want to pick my name. The is, the way you yeah. fix that is with better communication and with having a clear objective in terms of like well, what do you want to capture because a lot of them were like uh, the character showcases right and it's like yeah. do you want to make oh we come up with this new character you guys want fun entertaining content to watch or do you guys want to see oh the character being displayed at high skill 
and you have to consider like all oh, your creators and your partners have a mm -hmm. lot of skill gap within them so not only that but you're also like randomizing teams and doing all this it's like it's not gonna be good if you want a skillful display so you should probably just cater it to be more entertaining or at least communicate that but they did it and then you have all players do whatever they want yeah, then, I, I'm just a little more like lax to blame them because uh, I, I would have blamed them if it wasn't because I think, I think the basic thing to do when you're doing any sort of like event or anything in general in life is if you fuck up something, you take feedback and then you fix it. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I am going to judge them. I also got yelled at for having fun on the event. So it's yeah. like... Yeah, I, I think it the was flowers. their their rules or their expectations need to be better, but also like just like people in it need to read the room sometimes, which is an issue with people who are like permanently. Oh, yes, I remember <laughs> first time you cheated. Yeah, I'm oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, part of program stuff. Uh, I I do look forward to the future, and I do hope things get. Uh, good or, or get better um, in terms of the things that they currently offer I mean NP and all that's fine at least uh, since I have so much of it whenever they release the new um, what's it called uh, the, the gacha boxes or whatever I will have some content ideas for that I guess thanks to the NP um, what do you guys think about those the new um, gacha boxes or whatever I am so excited I love gotcha. I love gotcha. No, I. I those I, rich I'm, bastards excited. As, I, no, no. As it's just as someone who doesn't have like a lot of the the older skins that were like kind of like one time things, like you get it or you're or it's gone forever. It's it's good to see a way to get that uh to get those skins, even if it's like gated behind loot boxes. You're still just gonna roll him a crow. You know this, right? You're not oh. gonna get them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I think for the older players, since they have a lot of skins, it doesn't really matter. It's like, yeah. It, it's oh, just talking, like, about, talking about loot boxes? Loot boxes, yeah. They're good. They're good. Yeah. It is, it is a good way to monetize. Good. Like, like almost every like big game, like, yeah. those loot boxes have the monetization. This game needs to so. make money. I think we all yeah. here, everyone in this call has probably has a cumulative of like 80,000 saved MP. So, I think they've been very generous in the past. So I'm okay with how even predatory uh, decisions, you know, like get that monetization up. You know, you deserve it. They say it's how just much they're going to cost. Yourself. I don't yeah. think they said the price for them. No. Uh, the other thing I'm really happy with them is that uh, every dev stream, I think I made the question of like. How do you guys plan to do anything with my million A coin that I have that I want to use? And now oh, we have something. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sink. The sink. It's nice. Wait, what was the sink that you they added? Oh, uh, I I I have too much A coin, and I always wanted to use it, but didn't have. Yeah, anything. yeah, yeah. But like, what did what did they what did they add for? Yeah, daily, you can buy a uh, a box with A coin or whatever or something like that. Oh, okay. yeah. Holy. That's nice. So yeah, I'm just curious, how much money have you guys spent on the game? Like real world money? Zero dollars. Zero. See, I think I, I've spent like thirty or forty bucks in total on this game, and I have every skin. <laughs> it's I, like, I, I, I'm probably I've spent like two hundred dollars. Oh my on god! On this game, really? Bro. So oh, you know how many pulls in Hawkeye Star all that is? Hello. <laughs> so I, I when I first played the game, I'm one of those guys who's like, "Ooh, I want to play this character." I, oh no, you, you bought, bought the characters? With, with well, I didn't MP? think I, mean, I didn't oh, think I would no. put four thousand hours in this game. My bad. Yeah, no, oh, I bought like God. I bought like Yuki Sasella and like another one. Oh, or maybe oh, like just and then and then holy fuck. <laughs> and then I bought I bought the season packs, which because I was not a partner or creator, so I did not get my monthly MP in allowance. You and I think I spent Amelius. I spent like all my MP on skins, so I had to I had to buy the packs whenever they came out. Oh my god! So I, I have all those skins, dude. So I don't. You going? Go on. So I I will say I think this is like an opinion I've talked about on stream a lot, but like the the like player demographic is going to change a lot cuz like i think the current demographic of like hardcore gamers who like like a solo battle royale like they're a lot less likely to spend money than like 
casual gamers who just play like League of Legends on the weekends with their friends, you know? Like they're so much more likely to buy skins and stuff. So like I think with the game getting easier and like us gearing towards that, like it's gonna be a bit better for them anyways. Um oh like you guys you guys were kinda like stunned that he spent two hundred dollars and he's put like a thousand hours in or more than that. But there there are games <laughs> that people spend like a thousand dollars a month, you know? Like two hundred would be like nothing. And there's just yeah. like no way to have like whales in <laughs> yeah, eternal yeah, return. Yeah, that, right? I might be guilty. That's I might be guilty of that. <laughs> what? What yeah, game we do you watch Aqua's debut yesterday? Uh, right? Clue. <coughs> uh-huh. when I was, when I was oh, like Ark Knights, I spent way too much of that game back then. Oh, uh, okay. I, mean, I, yeah, I think it was more so because Eternal Turn, I feel like you've gotten so much MP for free, even if you're not a creator. Yeah, yeah. 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 They've, they've given out so much. You get 800 for free just from creator codes, you know? Yeah. Creator codes, and then like randomly they'll just they'll say, we're sorry, and they'll give us, and they'll give us like 1,000 MP. But I don't know. How do you check how much you spent on Riot? Because I think I'm also in the thousands. And then also for I think there's a website for it. I'm, I'm also, I know I've also spent thousands on card games. So, I mean, yeah, for the amount of time I have in herbs, I guess it is pretty a, a minuscule amount. Yeah. But card games are a huge money sink. We appreciate that yeah. amount. We need more money in the game. I'll be, Good I'll job, more. If they, if they give me something to spend <laughs> on, if I can, like, gotcha for, like, a sheepy voice pack, I'm too oh dropping. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Bro, we, need, we, need some, we need some, like, stream red ouncer packs. They, they would go so hard. Yeah. They got to pitch like, that at one point. <laughs> yeah. so we got to get aggressive with it. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. No, I was just saying, like, I pitched a like a Lumia Island hood version uh, announcer pack <laughs> at one point, where I was just gonna like, like, just basically make everything like the projects version of Lumia Island, and it got turned <laughs> down. Rosalio voice pack. I think I think they should do all. Right? Yeah. Well, no, he's gone. He's. I think they've said that they're not doing him. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, nah, they're lying. He's coming yeah. next season. Surely. With Ab- with the with the design of Abigail, the ninja girl, I'll, I'll stop. Did you see Alonzo, bro? Alonzo, no, they're, gonna, they're gonna bring yeah, in Rosalio. People are, people are the, so the, wondering the where batter. JP is, guys. Don't don't let them go through. He's scaling. He's. I don't know how he's gonna work in squads. I definitely thought he'd be like a solo. Dude, I swear, JP has been such a like topic for so long. I just want him to just not come out and like people can forget <laughs> about him. They have to like introduce him alongside hacking, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to just erase it from people's memory that he even actually. Why do you, why do you not want him to come out? I mean, I see it every dev stream. Every dev stream is the same people saying like, "Where's JP? Where's JP? Where's JP?" And I'm like, I just don't care. The game is beautiful yeah. as it is. Just take it, man. Well, they want a character. Huh? They, they'll add him once they figure out it's how to make him like a it's men. cute It's not even girl. like a cute. Oh anime. my god. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. If they gender ban JP, will you be happy, huh? Yeah, have you seen gender ban Yuki? Oh my god, I've been oh playing my. Yuki every day. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, we're reaching about a half point, so we're going to take a five minute break in just a second. Uh, and then after the break, we're going to jump into our small tier list segment where we're going to be doing a prediction of what characters are going to look to be in, in a tier list format for next season. It will be squats because um, that's all we have next season, so... Uh, look forward to that but that will be after a break also if you guys have any questions usually i have a mod uh take care of those things and then give it to me at the end but we're gonna do it a little bit different and we're just gonna have a q a section at the end where i take all of your questions uh immediately from from chat so hold on to them write it down so you don't forget them or whatever um but but yeah uh we're gonna be going on a break so see you guys in five minutes meow 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 Meow, 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 meow.
Uh, uh, uh. Hello? Sorry, my bad. I was eating. We're back. So, um, hello. Chat, one second. I'm drinking water. Okay. So, uh, we're back. Thank you for waiting our five beautiful minutes. Um, we're going to be jumping onto the prediction tier list segment for this. Uh, we don't want this to cover that much of our time for today. So, and in general, a lot of it is, you know, up to each player's way of the way that you decide to rate characters and a lot of prediction stuff because a lot of the game is changing. So don't take it super seriously. But at the same time, we do have some really talented players here, including, you know, Team No Flame and all that, who literally, like, won the squad circuit and all that. So they have a lot of information uh, and knowledge. And Mr. Adrian Thomas here has been climbing rank. Levi is also <laughs> another grinder, you know. So we, we got good talent here. Uh, so <laughs> I'm sure... What about Clue? Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Okay, all right, I see, I see. It's all good. No, it's all good. Uh... <laughs> It's all good. But, well, Daniel was getting a good change, so maybe surely yeah, put it oh in S tier, right? So good, such a good change. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So with that, what we're gonna be doing for this is we're, I'm gonna go through each person in the same order that intros, uh, and uh, ask them what they think will make a good or bad character, or the way they rated the tier list, pretty much. Uh, so starting us off, we have Cranky. This is his tier list. I'm sorry, it's a little out of frame. One second. Okay. Uh, so Frankie, for your tier list, what do you think makes a strong and weak character? How do you rate yours? So for my masterpiece tier list, what I did, I don't really, obviously it's impossible to number, so I kind of just rate it based on what their kits are. For example, I put Theodore and Sylvia in S tier, because I think a sort of healing role in squad will always be at least decent, and it seems it's good right now, and I think it'll be good on official release as well, and those two are the pretty much only healers in the game outside of Johan. And I looked at that, I don't think, uh, pretty much, we haven't seen Johan all this season. And the changes they're doing for next season don't seem that amazing either. So I'm assuming Johan's just not going to be good still. And then other than that, it's just like, um, the other three I put in S tier were just frontliners, I think, with like, uh, some of the best utility in the game. Just like, if we don't look at numbers, characters like the Estelle, my, it just like makes sense for team modes. And then Nikki was like, uh, how reliably, like, uh, how much does the front team outside of just being like, uh, making space and all that. And I think Nikki is the best point and click CC like in the entire game. They actually made it, if you guys didn't, I know some of the people that here didn't read the dev journal yet, but Nikki's ult doesn't even need a rage bar anymore. It just, like, you rage bar for extra damage, which you can just, like, roll. So I think she'll be really good. But in general, in the tier list, I just focus more on, like, characters I think who had good kits made for squads. Obviously, like, some of the C tier characters could still be in, like, Dylan as an example, could be insane next season. Never numbers are good enough. We just don't know the I just did it mainly uh what they provide for a team okay sounds good all right then let's look at a nuts tier list i don't know how i changed that way but whatever yes i right. still see it so go ahead i not i'll be real i was kind of just uh for fun this i kind of put uh, the cool characters that have like AoE OP abilities and S tier. So we got a bunch of uh, a bunch of mages. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I put Bianca in F tier because she's losing her ground, so that character's surely dead. But the the real problem is, it's like, I mean, they can just readjust anything. I guess you know they're just if they're rebalancing all kits for T boats, then they can make numbers whatever they want. But I I just put characters up there that I think would be cool. You know, I think uh, the new Chiara is going to be sick with like, he's going to be resetting and casting and it's going to like shock on a Q. Oh my God. It's going to be OP. Um, what else I got? I got Johan up there. This was before the Johan rework. I like him more after the rework because now he's going to be an actual healer and maybe he'll do like some damage again because he has to build a lot of amp to heal now. It's going to be cool. But yeah, I mean, really, I have no clue. Uh, all characters designed for squads, like previously, are kind of like, which we're always seen as overbearing due to their kits, have kind of like are meeting their maker because now they're taking all the solos characters and shifting them. So we don't, 
I don't think there's like the best idea, but yeah, that's just it, I guess. I put Ava. I do think Ava would be really strong. Low key, it's like a sleeper pick. I know Gemos is like a little bit of a coper, but a little bit. I think Ava's gonna be like Gigabiss. Hmm. It's the future. I see. I see. Well, good looks. Uh, next, we have Mister. I can't read. Superior guys. I may have understood. I may may have misunderstood the assignment, and I put a tier list of this season, but. I don't think uh I feel like some of the character like some of the characters will still be strong. Usually like th there's like a big variety of squad characters that are viable. I think the ones that are going to be really strong is obviously the characters that have like a lot of AoE damage, especially since like you know all the numbers are changing. So like having just good numbers is going to be good and then like characters with good utility obviously. So Bro, what is this tier list? I didn't think it was this. What the fuck am I? You have three <laughs> tiers, and everyone is in yours. What happened? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I mean, I don't think it's very wrong. I think I think all the characters are good. Yeah, like yeah, I think you can move a few can be good. It's just it's it's really hard to rate like characters, especially in like and I feel like a lot of people don't play characters optimally, especially in squads because it, it is like a. Have you seen a single Adri? Like I just, I mean, I just know Adri is really good in squads. Like if played optimally. Especially with like the utility. Yeah. Well, um, by the way, Superior didn't miss to read just once. Um, he first submitted a solo tier list at first, <laughs> and then I had to make him change it. And then he did this instead. Uh, so yeah. Yo, don't expose me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like, it was too much to not. Show the solos. Uh... I'll do it after we go through all of them, okay? Just just remind me. Alright. So this is for Q&A. There you go. There you go. Good, good job. Type in. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go into Uzma now. Mr. TFT himself. Huh. What you got cooking? I'm waiting for it to show up on the screen. Um... Yeah, I have a lot of the new change characters as don't know unsure because I just don't know how they're going to fit into it. But I think most of this is based on current team modes and where it sits. Um, and then with just some small changes with like what next season's going to be. But I, I put S tiers as like characters that I think realistically you can slam into any comp and they'll do well. Um, I kind of forgot about the ground thing. I'm not going to lie. So Bianca probably, uh, <laughs> she probably gets moved around a little bit. But yeah, I think, I think Fiora Silva, you can. Like right now, you could slam into almost any comp, and like A tier is like yeah, most of those characters like I think you could put them pretty much in most things, and they'll fit out well. And then I think I think technically every character is viable, so I didn't put any F tiers, and I think the majority of characters should be in B tier because that's like your like mid high tier kind of. But uh, yeah, I think I I think it's a pretty good tier list overall. Maybe some some a little misplaces here and there, but I think I think it's generally pretty good. Oh, and uh, I've been paid to tell you that Bernice is F tier. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Uh, moving on. I think it's Clue. Clue. Hi. <clears throat> yeah. So I just put a bunch of. I mean, I didn't really think too much about this. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I just put a bunch of characters that I thought had a lot of, you know, good AOE CC potential and like in the higher tiers. Uh, a lot of range characters. A lot of melee characters. Uh, and you know, the characters that I thought were not that good in, in the lower tiers, you know, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I, you know, uh, I think like super said, it's, it's hard to kind of gauge for NA because we don't really have a lot of pilots for a lot of these characters. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know the last time I saw a Celine pop off, you know, maybe a not in what, in that one tournament, he was kind of popping off on Celine. Dude, a bit. If I hit it into you, all <laughs> that's literally yeah. Like forever immortalized. No, yeah, no, no, no. That, that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> it was, it was almost the the clip of the year. But you know, like, uh, I just feel like you know, it, it's also kind of hard to tell because you know, like the dev journal that that came out <laughs> this morning, and uh, you know, it's it, it'll be interesting to see because I, I I feel like so much of the game is changing for next season. It'll be interesting to see uh, who uh, you know comes out as like you know the the really op characters uh especially if we, especially since it'll 
game will be balanced more for only squads instead of having to you know account for solos and squads and duos and, and cobalt and all that shit how weak do you think lucas holy oh. you put this guy one of two characters in d tier <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> i mean come on oh <laughs> no, good i just say? curious oh he's just he's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that good, not that good at cleaning up. Word, word, word. It's crazy. It's okay. It's clueless. list. I was gonna pay attention to it. You know exactly. If you, if, if you think about it, the good thing about all these lists is that there will be at least, especially looking at chat's reaction, there will be at least one list that people will agree with. I know Wisu, for example, really likes this list. Looking at Bernice on B. So you know, it'll be fine. Uh, all right, I think now it's Zerk's list, um, but we don't have him here, so you guys just get to look at it, I guess. Um, so Kata didn't use the list I gave him, and he just went and found one by himself, I guess. So it looks like this. Oh my and it's, god. <laughs> look at that as hell. Oh my it. god. Oh, he put every <laughs> weapon type too. Look, yeah. there's two Leons. Uh, um, so take a glance at it. I am... Um, I am going to keep it on screen for a little bit uh, since there's no one to explain for it. But you guys can make your own assumptions. I'm also, on his behalf, like I do see Hyun Woo on, on, on D tier, but I think, once again, he didn't have the knowledge of uh, the dev journal for today. So he... Uh, he, 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 yeah. Well, I'm seeing too much disrespect to the AoE heart W. I don't think I've seen it. I think every single person has put heart near the bottom. You guys are going to get cooked. I, for, I forgot <laughs> about that. I forgot about that. She's just Wing the whole team and it's over. <laughs> what, is, okay, what does also, it give? Uh, AP. Just, AP, yeah. Yeah. AP? Yeah. AP. Oh, yeah. yeah. AP, okay. But yeah, this was sick. Let's not look too much into it. This he, I, he Apparently, also to lock, apparently to lock, he, he did it uh, like a few weeks ago too. That's it. Yeah. I, I will say, how many people are gonna put this Sylvia character at like the top of their list? No, like surely she's not that broken, right? I think she's really good for I solo queue because she, she can flex in frontline and back. Oh my god, the, the flex pick! <gasps> uh, having both. Sylvia also <laughs> it immediately nullifies like poke in a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, because of the heal. Yeah, which is pretty strong, and you also get engage or follow up or whatever. But yeah. Anyways, next list, I believe this is AG Thomas, who I screenshotted from his stream since he didn't submit it for me to have a nice <laughs> list. <Hello>. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what a good list. I'm sure everyone will agree. Um, it, it's pretty much the same things up in S tier. I don't see anything different there. Um, I guess Priya is just going to be the GOAT, you know? Think about your whole team rooming around the map. It's gonna be lit. Um, <laughs> I think Adri will still be good, even without her util. Um, so I put her in A. I, I thought about putting my in S. Thought against it. Stell's just better. Stell's just the goat. Um, my chat wanted Martina higher, but I feel like every other character on this <laughs> list. I'd be chill with like solo queuing into squads, but if I get a Martino on my team, I'm really? like, oh, I'm not gonna see them. <laughs> yeah, that's a game. Yeah, I, I, I'm so surprised she didn't get like any of yeah any touches. Yeah, yeah. She just ends for the first four minutes, like six eight minutes of the game. You got to play two v three for like half the game, which is like I don't know. Yeah, maybe if I'm Nadine, that's fun, but. <laughs> Most characters, not really. Um, Bro, imagine you queue up and you get an Nadine and a fucking Marty in your game. It's over. <laughs> I'm out the four. <laughs> I'm out the four immediately. Dodge that shit. Ain't no way. Okay, yeah. Everyone in chat says my tier list is super cool. And yeah, super I know. Dexy's sweaty. really happy about that Martina placement. I know. I'm glad they, they enjoy it. But yeah, I'm. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far we've seen the trend on the S tier, which is. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, Maybe not Tia's them. just kind of busted. And no, 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 not about Tia. I mean, everybody else. <laughs> Tia has not been S tier every single one of them. It's just, I've I been keeping know. track. I've been keeping track. Don't worry. All right. Now we have a Levi's list. 
So they yeah, take so it away. I think everyone kind of knows that I'm solely a solos player. I don't play like any squads or duos at all. But just know I'm right. That's it. I'm I'm correct. This list is fully accurate. Uh, y'all are coping about Martina. She's broken. Um, I kind of just organized the list based on like theory of concept. So like the reason why like Shoichi and Daniel are at the bottom is kind of just like their job is to kill people. And like there's other characters in the game that just kill people better, faster, and easier. And I think that's like more of a priority. Some of these like picks are obviously scuffed, but I think like the ones towards the top kind of just are really good at doing their one job and can do other people's jobs for them too. Okay. Yeah. Levi is, I believe, the player in here with the least squads games out of everyone. But I've played 70 squads games between Season 1 when I started playing and now. Up until, like, the week of, like, last week. But yeah. So, yeah, his list is a bit interesting, especially compared to all of them. But we still have some similarities. You know, I do like Tiana being S here, and I do see Theodore all the way up there. So... It's still pretty, pretty, pretty interesting things. Uh, but yeah. And then I have one final list, which is all the lists combined. And I took the average or well, not I, Pari did it for me. Uh, by the way, uh, shout outs to Perry and Lucy for helping me put the, the, the table together this time around. It, it, it was good help. And they were helping till the very end, pretty much all the way to last night they were working. So I uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so Perry uh, did for did the the final tier list where we're gonna be adding everything together and getting the average to see what we come up with. It might be scuff, it might not be, but we'll see it together. This is the final tier list after adding all of them together. So take a look and see what you guys think about it. Yeah, S tier. That's crazy. Really, average Luke D. Is this Clue's fault? <laughs> How many people put, put Luke and D? I thought it was just Clues. I, 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 I don't know. The character is not that good at squads last season. I don't know. It's gonna be like they didn't do anything there this season, did they? No, yeah, I didn't give a reset. On C. I didn't yeah, give a reset. On oh, I must have missed that dev uh, journal. My bad. Uh, I don't know. He's. Uh... Play I mean, anyone can be OP, right? With enough numbers. Look, it's, yeah, it's all just speculative. Remember, yeah, remember the list went all the way down to F. But, uh, most people didn't put anyone in F or very little, so let's think of average all the way to anyways. Uh, but yeah, and, and Luke did receive changes, so it's hard to gauge uh, how will he will perform with the new changes. Um, but yeah. We... What are there other things? I mean... It looks like Stell, which was on for a lot of people S, ended up A, and somehow Matia is S now. I would like to swap those two personally, but I don't know. What do you guys think? It's I, fine. I, I mean, all this is just pure speculation. We it have, is all speculation. The whole game is yeah. different next season. <laughs> it, it will be very different. This is all true. But I mean, I don't know. We got some talent people here. Surely we can make some predictions. And... Maybe, uh, maybe. I want to bring one thing up if some yeah. people are interested in talking about this. Uh, Frankie talked about it a little bit, but I think the importance of like point and click CC is going to be like it's been cut out of a lot of characters kits. So I think if there's like a emphasis on that for some characters when I don't know how much like pro league you guys watch, but whenever there's like shit teams versus good teams, you get the picks like Maokai, you get the picks like Nautilus because we don't have any like God tier pilots in NA where they're gonna not get hit by any uh skills also because of ping but like i think if we get like an influx of players and we get some of these like newer prodigies i think for like the middle elos point and click cc is probably gonna be weighed pretty high for some comps someone bring up the racist movement tier list <laughs> oh <laughs> surely we have someone right surely I don't have it. no way oh yeah that was that meeks i can I can call <laughs> that was me <laughs> i think i did that with them no i remember let me find supers list now that you reminded me i, I, no, I have the reset i'll just put it on my solos list discord yeah 
yeah, just in know. general. I kind of, I don't know, it's actually so hard to rate. Rate characters in NA. Don't worry. Because, I don't know, I just know people aren't playing the characters optimally. So okay. take it with a grain of salt. Nah, blame him from his ass. Uh, here it is, I believe. Uh, sorry, we gotta go through all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this should be it. This is a uh, superior solo tier list for anyone that was curious about it. Put Bernice alone at sea. How much are you paid? What the fuck? You put... <laughs> I don't think Bernice is that and good. And you put zero. Uh, too much that's because you play Sua. That's because you play. <laughs> oh, Sua, Yuki, there's My a lot of My character is A tier. Hold up. Gotta be F tier. Wait, why do you know? Why do you never put anyone at S? You didn't do that for the squads list either. Yeah, I don't know. I I can't. I don't think anyone's like over the top right now. Yeah, you should put. But Sua it's just because like I don't know. It's really. I get it. You put a C because Weiss is our best pilot, so every Bernice just gets ran over. Okay, what the it. fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah. Well, that was our chill segment. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's a lot of prediction, so it's not going to be still fully accurate. But, I mean, you can see a little bit. You can see all the tier lists and maybe get an idea of what overall we think will probably be good. And make your decision, especially if, uh, since I will end up putting uh, this on YouTube eventually. I will, it, it might serve as a good guide for people that care about making sure they pick a strong character. Um, but yeah, uh, this one was this uh, tier list for solos from Super, so don't pay attention to this one, but from the previous ones, those are the ones you want to look at. Um, but yeah, so uh, with that, we are done with the tier list segment, and we're going to jump onto the few other topics that we have to go through, and then we'll jump into our Q&A to finish things off. So hold your questions for now. And uh, let's continue into um, to our topics. I want to bring up a, a participant topic, uh, since we I did just mention YouTube, uh, on the state of uh, Eternal Return content creation. Um, I think it, this topic was your sleep by, right? Yeah, so like, I really think Eternal Return content creation on YouTube is like as unsaturated as you can get if you post anything other than guides. Like I know a lot of you guys are streamers and probably don't have the time to do both or you have like day jobs and don't have time, but I really want to encourage you guys to start just posting on YouTube. Like if you guys do like character reactions, like I know a bunch of you like watch the the new character trailers that come out or like your first experience with the characters. They don't have to be these like elaborate storied videos. Just post like what's your content. You guys all make good content and I think it just gets lost in Twitch VODs sometimes. I did ER Rewind last year. I saw a lot of great clips from like moments from streams that I just didn't know that they happened. So I really want to see you guys post more on YouTube. And hopefully, as a like, um, um, constellation, uh, I'm gonna try and stream on Twitch more. So, I'm trying to make that deal with you guys. Oh my God! Ooh. I get to make a highlight reel for Levi too, and then he can be just like Adri Tola. <laughs> Ooh, that requires me to have a highlight bowl. Oh, that's fine. Oh. I can find them. Smile. But yeah, uh, I, I agree. I think uh, there's a lot of missed opportunities with content creation uh, in general. Uh, well, I do think um, uh, due to our population and stuff, sometimes it can be not, not as enticing. And there's certain things like uh, people worrying about things that are going to do well or not, like gameplay videos, for example, or like something that, well, there's some people that are interested. A lot of people say like, oh, it doesn't do this well or, or it, 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 whatever. Like, I remember I watched uh, A.B. Thomas' video, right, on ER content creation on his second channel. And I thought, I mean, I agree with pretty much everything he said, right? I think that was a banger video. Um, but I think even then, even if you don't do gameplay or you do other things, I think there's still a lot of opportunities for there to be a lot more YouTube content. And 
our creators are just not taking advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, I've been starting to to like do content again, but I think a lot of people, a lot of us, are just lazy, you know, because we just wanna you just wanna stream and then not have to worry. But definitely think like it is like a huge missed opportunity because obviously like outsourcing like your content and stuff is like probably the best way to grow. So especially like with the release of the game, like I used to do like montages and uh, and like meme content, but it did take really long. So I kind of kind of slowly stopped. So. I don't know. I should probably start again. Andrew Domo? Oh, Twitch has like a bubble of people who all go to each other's channels and you kind of feed like viewers like like to each other. I don't know. It's like just kind of one like circular like community. But then YouTube, you're like bringing like people who like might have quit the game or um like saw it in passing and like you're bringing people into the community um which i i think is pretty cool uh i i think that's a big reason back when we did like the uh what was it the the events that everyone had to stream some people were like oh i don't like streaming this because we all share viewers and then it feels bad to have like half the viewership but i noticed a lot of the people who would pull like viewers from outside of twitch like from youtube or tiktok or wherever um their viewership was like really good on those days so it's like i don't know uh, that makes sense just kind of yeah. rambling felt like i had to say something on the youtube topic Oh, yeah, makes uh, sense. Oh, I, I was gonna say, uh, I, I, I somewhat agree with uh, what he was saying. Uh, I, I think I've talked about it before. I like, uh, I always say that everyone on Twitch, uh, in the ER category, we everyone shares like the same like hundred viewers basically, and they all just kind of like like filter out and and like lurk or view or or chat or whatever, and everyone chats uh, all at one time. Uh, it's 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 really obvious to see, especially on days where it's like not very busy, um, like uh, in the category where maybe it's just like one or two people streaming. Uh, they will they will do like exceptionally well viewer wise, and uh, like as opposed to days where it's like like five or six of us are, are like are all like playing the game and streaming like ranked or whatever. Um, it's a little bit more split out and it's a little bit more even. Uh, I I do think that there is definitely a market for it uh, on YouTube um to bring in like new eyes to the game uh but yeah I, I do also think it's just just part of like it's it's so much easier just to, to just to hit go live and and to stream four or five hours a day than it is to make like a 10 minute youtube video you know what i mean um so i do think there's a bit of like laziness that comes in uh that like plays a part um i don't know we'll see i i think i think we'll see uh coming into official release um we'll see if uh you know the new the new changes uh brings anyone new uh if, if like new talent comes in you know new creators who decide to make something out of the game so yeah i think um like i, I know we're saying like oh all the all you filthy twitch uh twitch fucking just streamers just who's my bastard all you do stream Huh. I hate you. Uh, no. Uh, huh. uh, even then, like you have to have in mind, like, uh, like recently, I I went through like my my human arc. I want to call it because like oh, I'm sleeping at normal human times and not playing rank and like, uh, you know, managing my time and putting out like YouTube content and working on my art and all that stuff. And you have to realize, like, too, it's like even though like yeah, the Twitch uh streamers are like oh too lazy to make content or whatever. A lot of the times it's not just laziness too, because like the issue is like. The way the Twitch game works too is like, oh, you get to stream for long periods of time, and the way you you stay on the category, and viewers can only watch you at that point, and you gotta keep it consistent too, because you gotta stay relevant. Uh, so then it, it consumes a lot of time, uh, which is like what most people always use as their like, number one thing to say. Oh, I'll do YouTube if I had more time or whatever. Um, and for me personally, like I've been streaming a lot less, uh, while pumping all the YouTube stuff and like the art stuff, because those things also do consume a lot of time. Um, but it's also like, uh, a lot of the times people don't realize how easy it is to like convert things from Twitch to YouTube. And I think that's another thing people need to try to do. 
uh, rather than you can just hit live and like get good content and get good highlight clips or whatever, but you could also like set it back like one second before you go live and think, okay, I'm gonna go live and then this will turn into a YouTube like somehow or whatever it might be. Like for example, this event or like the voice chat event. Like, well, I did edit at the, the voice chat event. I could have very well left it as a bot and it would probably be okay. Just because it's something that I did in mind that will eventually turn into YouTube and will probably be okay. Same with the seeing, like, I can put the bot here or I can put highlights of it. I'll probably be okay. Um, so I think that's another thing people can do, especially for those who really like streaming, but say they don't have enough time for YouTube. I do think it's not a complete circle. Like, uh, someone who streams, um, I say, it, like, every single stream I say on average, I have, like, a couple people still. Like, even, like, outside the fight, obviously, the regular people, the people who always watch, aren't really new players. But I do get, like, every stream I say, I get a couple people, like, new players just asking stuff. Every stream, like, uh, first time chat, hey, I'm new to the game. Do you have any or stuff like that? So I feel like it's not, like, you still get some new people in their Twitch. It's definitely not as much as YouTube, but I wouldn't, like, say it's, like, complete circle yeah i've had that too it's like top of the category things i think um but i guess it's more of if you're a smaller streamer like and you don't have like the twitch discoverability yeah it's just um, twitch in general though you always want to it's hard to get discovered when you're smaller yeah Impossible, but basically i guess i guess me and levi can like hype up how much we enjoy doing youtube stuff and everyone else should because like a rising tide raises all the ships in like youtube land but if you don't like it i wouldn't do it i like i do it because i like it i'd say if you're not into it and you only want to do it to like grow stream like i don't know i don't know if it's worth <laughs> your your effort I think it's definitely good, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Like, and like, yeah, if you definitely, but, if you want to grow as a creator, like you should. But it's, it gets really tedious, I guess, for like, yeah, for like gameplay think, type videos. I think the barrier of entry is well, maybe not barrier of entry. I guess because I mean, it it really doesn't take much to just to to grab the vod and upload that. But like, making a cohesive YouTube video that like you know looks nice and is nice to watch. I feel like it it is something that a lot of people just aren't willing to grind grind out like myself included like taking What's the time to, to you though because like I, that's definitely a skill you <laughs> learn over time but it, i don't think it's as crazy as anyone thinks it does it is like like what's a long period of time for you well uh, i just think like taking the time to edit out a video uh from start to finish it, is just like uh i mean it's obviously something that you get better at over time of course you know it's like it's just like any other skill but uh as, as someone who does not have like a background in anything like that it's it's pretty it's pretty like it's pretty jarring i would say to try and like just jump in yeah. like like head first i think it's definitely like something you kind of like adapt to over time if it is something that you want to do it can be a growl if like it's not something you want to do and you're just forcing yourself to do it like adri was saying but there's also like tons of resources out there to like help now um let me put you guys on game there's a program called gleam it'll literally edit out the gaps between your voice in like select amounts of videos. It's just an AI program. And that like assists with editing so much. It takes like an hour off and it's free as long as you shout them in your description. Like I think there's resources with AI specifically that you can use to basically create your video for you. I wouldn't rely on it, but it definitely cuts down some of the time. That shit doesn't work for me. All it highlights is fucking sound redeems because my stupid ugly chat. <laughs> okay. Duende! You might have a problem with that. It just goes, oh hey, there's a ton of chat interaction. Let's let's highlight this, and it's just fucking sound redeems. And I, I will say the last thing I'll say for this topic is uh I'm pretty excited for new people coming into the game to do like YouTube stuff, because um I, it's just gonna be fun to watch. Like I, I wish there was more things to watch, like in queue like while waiting for a game or like something yeah. like that i don't know it's just gonna be cool because this game is so easy to do content stuff for when i tried to do like omega striker stuff i was like i don't know how the fuck i'm gonna make these videos entertaining but for er it's like super natural so i don't know i'm excited to see what everyone makes hmm. yeah i'm also excited to see like you said not only for content creation, but also like just general player base. I'm excited to see. Mm. I, like, I hope that like the higher tier 
skill level of players like just like the the overall population increases by a fair amount um i mean i'm like you know a couple people mentioned earlier you know it's not fun running into the same faces every game so you know i hope there's a little bit more diversity once the game officially releases i think he's been writing about that for the past fucking month (laughs) okay I okay to close out this topic. Uh, I think we covered pretty much everything. The, the last thing I would say is that well, YouTube does seem like a, a high barrier or whatever, where it might seem like that. I think if you just start and you post out one video, it, it's worth just just try try to post one video. And if you post one video and you just don't like it, then go ahead and stop. But. Uh, well, actually, I, no, I, you should keep posting. Because well, <laughs> everyone's first video yeah. is ass, you know? I know, I know, I know, it will be. Everyone's first yeah. video is ass, this is true. But yeah. it, even, even like, for me, my first video, and I, I took a long time to post my one video, uh, which was my Adela guide. Um, mm-hmm. uh, like, I took forever, I tried to fucking strip through it, tried to learn as much as I could to post it. It was still shit. Um, but, like, just the sheer amount of, like, support and like other things that like the few things i did do well or that i saw that i improve on were like enough to push me through to like post another one so i think like posting that first video and giving it a shot it's it's important mm-hmm. so this guys is coming back trust taking the first step <laughs> is what, huh wait what i'm still posting by the way i'm cooking more i have plenty of announcements to make at the end of like more youtube stuff and content like I'm, I'm bringing more. It's right now. I'm just like fucking like superior video, just juggling like YouTube streaming and art all at the same time, and I'm fucking dying, time wise. <laughs> but holy fuck, like I was supposed to post like art yesterday, following my week challenge, and I couldn't because I was working on this, and I'm so depressed about it that I didn't get it done. But whatever. Um. But yeah. Anyways, that was it for content creation. What time is it? Seven thirteen. We're still. Are we? We're forty minutes. We could do Q and A now. Let me see. Do we have any other topics? Uzma, your topic can't be real, right? Surely we're not going through that, right? Huh? What do you mean? You want to go through it? All right, guys. It's a valid topic. Uzma's topic. Let's go through it. Um, uh, LP versus girlfriends. So, hello. Go ahead, discuss. That's it, bro. If you could have an LP or a girlfriend, which one would you rather have? It's pretty simple. Frankie doesn't get to talk, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking one in a million specimen, okay? That's, um, that's, that's cheating, crazy. bro. It's cheating. Personally, I played, uh, uh, I've been victim to this. Every now and then I play Aqua and Pi, we play squads, I lose a shit ton of my LP. And then I play with Esther and Encoda, and then I lose a shit on my LP. <laughs> and it's always, it's, it's yeah, awful. Yeah, is that just the, oh. the third wheel I get? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I, don't, I, don't get the, I don't get the LP or the girlfriend. I just That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's over. Oh. Friendship was a mistake. But yeah, okay. Let's see, do we have another topic? It seems like... What, what would you prefer, Ozma? Well, you know, I, I think it's pretty clear if you look at the leaderboard, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's right there. <laughs> really? Mm, I mean, I can have my world. name immortalized on Dak.gg for the rest of time, but, like, you know, girlfriends? <laughs> temporary. Dak's want to remove the solo section after. <laughs> 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 That's okay. fucked up. It kind of hits different though when you have like a minus 20 LP game and then you go lay in the lap of your girlfriend and then you get back up and then gain 20 LP. Nothing better. What the? Oh, Damn, crazy. you guys just out here having girlfriends casually. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, anyways. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the QA section. So, uh, for chat, just add my name so like they highlight it or you say highlight for you and then ask a question. If the question is stupid, I might not say it, but uh, unless it makes me laugh, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, go ahead and, and make sure and ask questions, but yeah.
Uh, oh yeah, what do you guys think about uh, the legendary boxes change? The uh, adaptive? I think yeah, Amp adaptive. Burgundy is going to oh, go lit. crazy. Ah, yeah, Amp Burgundy. Sounds kind of OP. <laughs> Fucking Amp uh, Halo now too. It's going to be some, some baggy some like baggy items. Well, what are we, so it, there's no way there's like EP persona, right? Or like attack power persona. This oh, I'm assuming I, it's just going to be like a... <laughs> do you I do think the change is really good now because it means like uh, the legendary boxes are going to be like another objective that people fight for so mm -hmm. yeah they're so so from the way i understood it i think they're only gonna have set items in them yeah. and then you just don't have to worry about the rest so like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. what's it called i side note the fucking purple box changed too so nice <laughs> mm -hmm. um do you guys uh think people will actually fight for them as objectives um if they're it, it i think the gold ones right i think it depends on like how many they like they're there's gonna be like on the map like if it's anything like apex and like other battle royales like you see people can test like those those airdrops all the time right so it's just how strong they are i guess we'll have to see You've got infinite questions, Basan. You gotta go. Bad. Sorry, they someone just said that they, they think with the quotes broke and I, it's real and I don't know how to fix it. It's been broken all stream, it's okay, it's too late. It's Fine, there, I, yeah, fix yeah. I fix it, I fix it, I fix it. It was on Anot's thing for like the whole stream. Uh, yeah, I know. I originally was on Levi's, so I said, whatever, it's fine. I fixed it. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, so the next question the uh, do we believe circuits now that? Top three should be rewarded instead of top two. Now that teams are increased. Oh, it's just it's math. Teams now. But yes. It's just yeah, math. yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um oh, how long does it take for each one of us to make YouTube videos for those who make videos, I guess? It depends. If it's like for me, if it's like uh if it's a montage or like uh like a meme edit, it would probably take me like maybe eight hours or something. If it's just like a gameplay video, maybe like two hours. If it's just something I just ripped from my stream, it's just like 30 minutes or like an hour. What are you, Levi? Um, if it's like a guide video or like something that's like repetitive content or like evergreen content, it takes about like half the day. Like the hardest part, like this season has been getting like the actual games for it because I just get skipped all the time. But if it's like hero content where like I think it's gonna do better or like i have to put like more time into it like it can take up to like a week or a week and a half i spend like the most time on like thumbnails and script writing than i do on like actually making the video yeah thumbnails bro bro i hate doing thumbnails, thumbnails. are the fun part they take like, so editing so i know but like i don't know thumbnails that's the thing i stress fun. about the most i don't know why Wait, are they're so important, good. but like it's the fun part. What are the you video editing? Is the... What about your ADS? <laughs> well, I, I'm not a good, I'm not a good standard. I have, I do not. I legit, I don't. I, I like, I just cut up like a game. I like have a game win, and I cut it up, and that's legit. And it still takes me like four hours. So it's lucky, but that's just because I'm shit at editing. So you post stuff on TikTok. How long does it take? Oh, sure. <laughs> Uh, well, there's really well, just programs that do it for you. It's just yeah, like clips of that. A yeah, that doesn't yeah. Uh, but I'm still lazy, clips. bro. It's like I have to go to my VOD, find the shit. I gotta. I oh, don't know. Yeah, you take your Twitch clips and you put the link in the URL thing, and then it's just like, oh, yeah, here crazy. you go. I'm like, oh, nice. That's lazy, man. Word. What have you, Edgy Toma? Uh, how long? Heard. Yes. Video, yeah. It depends. Like the, the last one I did, probably like. 10 hours, like eight hours. But like that IRM one I did took like 30. I had to play like 70 games. <laughs> it depends. How about your Piola workout one? How long did that take? Your... Uh, that's probably, I, I did that over a month. So probably like, like the same, like 30 hours. But I only played like 30 games of Piola. <laughs> Uh, okay. The, I mean, Aina doesn't post anything or Uzma doesn't, so. I guess me, personally, uh, nowadays, the, if it's a character guide video, those I have a pretty good system for, so I take about four to five hours, maybe. Including everything, like, thumbnail, doing everything. Uh, and usually, like, most, like, 
get the footage pretty easy since it's just replace and I'm just playing clips in the background and then I have everything pretty well structured. So uh four to the end. But then if it's like an overall guide about the game video, um it could be maybe a bit longer, like six or seven hours. It depends on how much of a script I want to write. Because I don't do full script the content. I I'd write notes. And then if there's a specific thing I want to talk, then it will take a little bit longer. Um and then like the recent news guide video, that one's completely off script, so um but I don't I rarely do content like that. Uh but that content is the fastest one to pull out. It's just like I don't know, like it took me I think that one took me like three hours. But uh usually honestly for me, the actual editing of like the footage and like thumbnails and titles, all that is really easy. It's the audio stuff that fucking fucks me over because I can't speak for my life. I do do silence detection, like Levi said. I do that, and I also like, like, but but like in general, just speaking, I I do too many like thinking noises and other stuff, and that takes a lot of time cutting all that shit out. Uh, which is something I I'm, I've gotten better over time, but it, it's still fucking it's still a struggle. I blame second language. I should have been a fucking eternal return Spanish YouTuber. <laughs> But yeah, um, but yeah, good question. Uh, let me go back up since we gotta go through some of the other ones. Um, uh, 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 which weapon combo for like a new weapon to give any a character would you like to see the most? Uh. I think it's just characters that have two playstyles. I'm surprised they gave it to like Sue and Marcus versus they only have one. But characters like uh, Chiara, Chloe, I think both need a second weapon. Because they're characters with two playstyles. And since what they're doing next season is universalizing mastery, they have to like, uh, each weapon can only support one playstyle. You can't go like both amp and crit on uh, Chiara anymore next season. But she's like, Getting a second weapon though, right? Like, we well, think they haven't announced it yet, but it, there's no way she isn't unless there's deleting crit GR, which I find I doubt they will because it's pretty popular as well. What about anyone else? Any weapon they want to see get to someone? AR John. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> we need it. They linked like half the weapons they're gonna do in the skin sheet on the dev stream because they just had like their actual weapon there, on the concept art of the skin. So we already knew about like Hammer Marcus and Sua. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, bo -bo -bo. we talked about that. Oh, uh, do you guys think there should be a separate queue for solo players or premates? No, not, not until base. we have yeah, yeah enough player yeah. base to support it. Yeah, like eventually, yes, but yeah, right now I don't think that's. Do you guys think it'll still be available in customs? No, uh, like duos and solos. I mean, I duos so. technically you could still eight man it, right? Like eight teams, <laughs> 16, yeah. 16 players duos could still work, but probably not, right? Because I think when they removed like a game mode before, like it wasn't in customs. Yeah, I think it's just gone. Yeah. What do you mean? You don't want to play an eight lobby solos? Eight man lobby. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Man. Crazy. Eight person solos tournament. That's crazy. <clears throat> Actually, we could do Among Us with eight people. Among Us in Lumi Island. Surely. Oh, Panseek? That will be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, what to call it? I mean, we did discuss this, but I'll, I'll include it too. Uh, about scrims for high elo. Do you guys think we'll have them? Just make a Discord server. Yeah, for there. sure. We'll have some people. Are, uh, a, new, a new in house Discord. Holy. Maybe we'll yeah, just I the think. In -house one, yeah. I think it oh, kind of yeah, depends yeah. on what, like, the. Because they haven't announced, like, what the new circuit's going to be, right? Yeah, we should probably wait Because if it's just, like, it. a for fun one, like, we're not going to need it. But, like, if it's, like, actually something, like, you know. Okay. And then. Do people in the table have any plans of collabing with non herb streamers? Anyone? Anyone with I? In order to grow the game or whatever. Remarkable. I do. Yeah, streamers. Okay. Holy. Hey, it's a okay? surprise. It's a league person, though. 
But you're a faker. Oh my god, That's he's shaving ER. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, it's faker. It's faker. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyone hey, else? Did you know, H. June oh. called me the faker of ER once. Holy. Holy. Okay. Yeah. He, he saw me throw an R while I was using my Q on Adrian. He's like, damn, <laughs> this man's faker. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy, we have the faker of ER. I should have included that in the video. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Instead, we have uh, Yuki moaning or something. Um, but yeah. Cut! <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Well, it seemed, well, if you're talking about cooking something, me personally, like that would require me uh, networking with people outside of ER, which I do know streamers outside of ER, but I don't, I don't like the word collabing, personally. Whatever, I, I don't know. Whenever I meet people, I just, I just want to buy, be friends. But, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe one day I'll worry about networking. Yeah, you just gotta look around. Like, the Bianca VA wasn't, like, in the community, um, really. She just played casually until I found her on, like, the little ePal or whatever website that was. And uh, for like a video, and then now, like, she's like prominently in the community, so just like kind of reaching out, like, not being afraid to put yourself out there it does wonders. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Chat says it's yep. kind of it. Yeah. Mm, okay, but yeah, um, uh, wait. What the fuck happened to my fucking... Uh, where did the questions go? My fucking chat exploded. Uh, I see... I see Early's question. Uh, what do we think about Operator Nadja? Mommy? I think it's a weird way to help new players, but if it works, it works. Yeah, like your AI girlfriend coaching you in the game. It's but... <laughs> 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 a real LP versus girlfriend. LP or Operator Nadja. Yeah. Take one. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. As long as I can like minimize her, I don't really care. <gasps> How could you? No <laughs> <way. a woman? laughs> the, fucking, the battle zone overlay that we currently have is the worst thing in existence, and I think if it like op Naja ends up being like similar, I might lose it. It's definitely disabled. Well, there's no way they like ever forced, but yeah. Yeah, they they need to be able to. <laughs> To close around. Guys, remember when Battle Zones first came out and we had like the arrows on our screen permanently to like point you oh. where the Battle Zone was? Oh, I remember <laughs> that. Well, <laughs> yeah. so bad. Health packs too. Dude. Oh, I <laughs> love health packs. I love cold the, <laughs> the arrows were something else. <laughs> oh, I guess personal question for, for me. Uh, do you guys? What do you guys think about them keeping cobalt? Fine. Should have killed it, but it's okay. It is what it is. It is what it <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. I like cobalt. <laughs> I mean, they have the Enjoy. numbers. I assume they have the better at decision than us because they have the numbers behind it. So I trust that Cobalt being kept was for good reason. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it makes sense because then you have like a kind of for fun mode that you can still be like, oh yeah, like we're, you know, if people don't want to play this, they can play Cobalt. You know? You're telling me that if Cobalt Clash came out, you wouldn't play. Mm -hmm. Clash? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just like, do squads clash? Why don't they just... No. Well, clash. well, it's like it's like ARAM clash. You know, ARAM clash. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure people would play. I think there's a good amount of people who exclusively. Yeah. The size. They're weirdos. <laughs> All right, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I know it's not complete yet, but what do you guys think of the Eternal Return app? To them, show the NA leaderboard. Uh, yeah, it's all Korea. <laughs> they don't care about no, the fucking <laughs> NA leaderboard, man. Like, it's all right. I'd use it to find my news when when something drops. I don't go like the oh. website. I just chill on my app and I land better or something. Oh, I still like pulling it up right on now. Discord. Well, you have to like do it missing, for, like, the challenges. I feel like it's like missing like a community tab for. I know that like the stream tab is like under development, but like you don't you don't have like a like a like one where like people can just talk or something. I don't know. Hear me out. Just put the character Discord in the in the app. <laughs> just like a little tab for it. <laughs> <laughs> Call it forums. There you go. 
I still think it's crazy. Yeah, that OPG is the official sponsor, and I think everyone uses Stack. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much they paid. They even got a skin in game. Bro. Uh, what do we think about TTK right now? TTK. He's getting a full reset next season. Squat, squat, squat. I think it's mostly okay. No, I think it's fine. So much is getting changed next season that like we're losing accessory numbers. We're percent balance is getting removed. So it's like I was say I was gonna be. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's the. Uh, we still have a bit more time. So if anyone in chat still has any more questions, feel free to ask. Uh, remember to at me so I highlight it. Otherwise, I'm fucking blind. I can't see it. Um, but yeah, uh, outside of that, event skins, sure, I mean, we talked about skins earlier, I mean, skins, just, they're good. You guys see the Madriana skin? Oh, yeah. It's a Madriana skin? Yeah, yeah take a look. <laughs> it's, a, it's fire. <laughs> good skin. Oh my god, damn. It's like whiskey. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord, okay. Uh, I place up Adriana. Yeah, I was using base skin this season, so I'm excited. That's that's kind of sad. I'm using base, base skin. Oh, AG's got a good one, but yeah. You don't want to be a rat slayer or whatever, bug disseminator. Uh, oh yeah, Locke, we talk about partner for rendering, doing some part of it. We'll have to go back on bot for that, probably. But yeah, we talked a lot about the partner program. Um, No Flame merch. Even no flame what a merch. stupid question. Why would you what? even read that shit? I can work it. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. No one's buying no stupid ass no flame merch. What? Okay. <laughs> no what, what, if, what, what if I make merch for you guys and you guys let me in a sub? Thoughts? That's no one's. That's smart. Mm -hmm. I'll make them buy it. Don't worry, I can make it work. Okay. <laughs> you guys have banger characters you guys play. You guys wants to we can make some things look pretty good with those characters. Nemos wants a jersey. Oh my! Brad would get one too, dude. We have we have buyers. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I already worked in the merch department before for for my clubs in high school. All right, right, let's send it. Let's send it. Okay, let's get cooking. I get some shirts. Five bucks, no flame shirt. Game. Pay up. Five dollars. That's it. Damn. I think the ones they sell in high school were ten, and I sold all. Oh, yeah, of but them. there's no shipping in high school, man. There's I no. Guess. <laughs> what do you mean? That's fine. Shipping's not that bad. As long as they're in the U.S. If they're not in the U.S. and What's yeah, but you're not making a profit no off flame. five dollars shirts. You're paying for shipping. Also. Bro, we're shit. not making a profit. Period. We run tournaments for eternal return. Hello. <sighs> Where's the profit on that, right, Clue? Oh. How confident do you guys feel about Herb's future? Go. Better question. <laughs> uh, Zero percent. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what kind of future are we talking about here? I guess. What? What? I think, a, it's, what a, I think it's a genuine coin flip. I are don't going, think the game yeah. is going to die anytime soon. Well, are we okay. About, like, oh, okay, okay, guys. How how long do you guys think the game will last for? Two years. I think uh, it's kind of at least at least a year. Yeah, but I mean, like, I think the genre is always going to be like a thing that people want, and every single game that's come out as competition for ER has sucked ass. I, can, can you believe people unironically played Bap Bap? That was like actually, it was an embarrassment that I saw people playing Bap Bap. That game looked like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> there is another game that's coming out really soon though. Like, have you guys seen it? It's like it was made by like League developers. It's also like a VR. Yeah, right it was not a Project Loki. Yeah, Project Loki. I think so. It's a bit of a different game still. I feel like every new game is made by League developers though. Yeah, oh, it's like yeah. the name <laughs> of the title. <laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I do think Project Loki is probably the move for if Herbs dies, because I think we've already got like roots uh, in that community. I don't know if any of you guys were in the playtest, but there's a I recognize a lot of Eternal Return players in there. I don't know, especially like 
I don't think Korea, I should return, is dying anytime soon. And the fact that they kept SA alive for this, I doubt NA is going anywhere anytime soon. Like, I, they kept, they were willing to keep SA alive despite not popping norms for like two seasons, and they still kept SA alive. I don't think they're taking down NA. I personally think that we're, like, my realistic expectation is that we're going to go through release, and we're not going to see much change here in NA. Uh, unless, like, things are giga fucked, and then we could see, like, a season 7 repeat. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't happen. But if that happens, that could potentially kill the region. I doubt it, though. And then I think we will see a lot of success in KR, probably. And then eventually, if they manage to do really well in, in KR, they can do more push for our region. But I think, considering we've stayed uh, on like about the same amount of players, like everyone, like without big losses or whatever, I think it will be fine. Or we could also just everybody make a video about like two longers and shit of saying how oh, we're leaving the game and then kill it immediately. I think that would be a funny experiment eventually. Every single person in this table just said, I'm quitting the game. What would happen? I bring with that every night. Smile. It's okay. Adrian's going to collab with Tyler One, just like he said, and we're going to save the game. Bro. I think Adrian's toxic enough. Mm hmm. You got if you got a collab with Tyler One, you got banter back. You we gotta show him that this community is not the fuck with, you know. No, it's gonna be him just like making me cry, and the clip just will go send, viral. Send, yeah, just send it, <laughs> send Adon in. I believe in him. Oh yeah, Adon, Adon's got it. Adon's got that for sure. Too. What do you want me to do to him? He's like, yeah, that's he's, the beast. Uh, speak. That's yeah. what you're only good at. Okay, that's not. Yeah, something though. Yeah, you won't. You schedule it on a full moon. I'll let the real Tyler one's not touch this game. Oh no! I promise you, oh, Tyler yeah. one ain't never touching this goddamn game. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how mentally destroyed he was? That he was forced to play variety already. You think he's touching the Wait, anime battle royale? Again? Wait, he's playing variety again? He was forced to. He like lost a one v one with his brother. It was a oh, whole thing. So he was forced no. to play variety, and he was having a mental breakdown. It was <laughs> no, yeah, he's he's he's, he's got an actual addiction to league. Like it's. Yeah. Out Medical. That's what Lee will do to him, man. Yeah. Okay, well, we're a little under the three-hour mark, I believe, and we have straight on track, which is amazing, because, you know, uh, usually Vante will always go over by quite a bit, uh, but we, we managed to keep it, you know, keep it together, do everything well, and keep it on, on time, healthy schedule. So Kayla never showed up, unfortunately, but I mean, I'm he's sure his schedule old. is giga fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and message him and make sure he's alive. Um, but yeah, um, uh, outside of that, uh, I think it's it's time to do closing thoughts. Uh, so if anybody has anything going, make sure to shout it out here before I shout out all my nonsense, because usually my outros, I get existential. So shout it out now. Uh, hey, have time. can I? Can I ask one last question real quick? I, I've just been super curious um, for you guys and the chat. The dev journals have one at the end um, that just says surprise. Oh, it's the death of NA. Oh, we're <laughs> 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 I, I think it would have been so sick if that's how they told us like Solos was gone. <laughs> Everyone was so excited for the oh, so surprise. <laughs> Your favorite yeah. game mode is no more. But you I'm mean, actually curious what that is. No, like, yeah, I, I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, surely it's like like a a big event oh, or something. I, 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 it could be a collab, actually. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, K-pop group. BTS. <laughs> Holy <laughs> new jeans. Oh, oh my god. god. New jeans. Oh my. Oh god. my god. <laughs> That'd be cool. It that would be pretty crazy. Should no, we add I, each a prediction? Uh, on what we think it's gonna be, and see who's right at the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get scroll up. I'm gonna get scroll up. I don't, know. I don't oh, fucking uh, know. It's you coming think? to Xbox. It's coming to Xbox. <laughs> it's like, when it comes to consoles, I'm, I'm writing all these down. I'm gonna write all these down. Actually. Oh my gosh. Surely it's just like a a big a big release event or something. 
And they're going to throw an NA party. Like, oh my god. It's oh, be a thank you. you NA code. code. Crazy. So this prize is actually a No Flame merch. Oh, merch. Wait, Worlds. We're not saying Worlds. Worlds. Okay, not Worlds. Oh, yeah, Worlds. Okay. Oh my they're not doing God. worlds. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Why don't you want this? I it's want it. I'm just saying they're not doing it. <laughs> uh, Frank, are you sticking with death of an air? No, I'm saying it's a thank you letter and then a fucking MP code. <laughs> I hope it's not that one. I hope no, that's it's not real, that one. dude. I mean, it's probably that's, it's, that's the most likely that one. All right, who's my super? And what do you guys say? I say collab already. Collab, okay. And then Uzma? I'm sticking with n No Flame merch release. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No Flame. I'll, I'll, make, sure that, I'll make sure that one happens. Though, all, right. <laughs> all right, and Levi. The five ISBS hold. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> as much as like I think I want to side with Locke, and it's like some lore or like character shorts series or something like that. I'm gonna go with the hot take and say that they're bringing back the Hong Kong server. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, okay. Like, why would they put that for like the care people are also gonna see that? You think they give a shit? I don't think they. <laughs> it's, they're like, Korean people are excited. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, I feel like it has to be KR related, but. Yeah. yeah that's the okay, we should do coming back. Mm. Personally. Huh. I mean, a lot of these look like a possibility. Uh, actually, another you mentioned lore. Considering that they got, uh, what's it called, the E7 Street or whatever to the trailer, I wonder if they might get them to do more things on release. Uh, an uh, eternal turn uh, anime? The oh anime. my god. Oh, I'm not going to say anime. so much as going yeah. anime. We're not going to. No, what it's does, real. What does E7 have for, uh, like, You're just announcing we're. D7 is getting a turn return units. It's fucking too bad. <laughs> yeah, so it's the cold op. It's D7 cold op. Holy fuck. You're off to something. <laughs> is the Manwa still serializing or did that get stopped? So what? The Manwa. The Manwa. Like, yeah. yeah. There's not. Oh my. God. Yeah, there's, there's one. There's only uh, like a couple chapters on it though. Yeah, yeah maybe they're bringing that back. I mean, sure, I'm going to say that. Manga slash anime. I mean, that's just what I'm gonna say. Anime is on cope. Holy fuck! And no, bro. I mean, what whatever, do you mean it's bro. cope? They got a studio. They got a good studio doing stuff. You think they can afford it's a full length? Like, I mean, anime? I don't think so. But they, well, you like, think they well, can like, afford a short this thing? game? Yeah, yeah. Do do like shorts count as as an animal? Yeah, shorts will, will count. Any, okay. any... Oh, maybe it's just the full trailer. That might just be it. It might just be the finished trailer. Oh, it could be. Yeah, anyway. oh, it could just be the finished trailer. Yeah. All right. So whoever is right, we all pay them. Okay. Okay. We got I, five dollars on it. Putting five bucks off. <laughs> Put in five in. Or like one sub. One sub. Uh, one sub. <laughs> I don't have money, so whoever wins, I'll. I'll Better hope you win then. I, I will. I will. <laughs> I'll make a free YouTube video for them. How about that? Okay. Uh, Better hope you Bring win. Uh, I will do slave work or something. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Also, my it. services smile. Anyways, anyone, anyone else wants to shout out anything at the end? Anything they're cooking up? Anything? Q, uh, I mean, Q solos tonight, guys. Let's get it popping. Yeah, Q solos. Remember, last weekend, let's get our solos games in. Yeah, isn't isn't Dexy's tournament tomorrow too? It is tomorrow and mm, Sunday, nope. I believe. I think it's a two-day. Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday. Oh my God. So get your practice in. Make sure we. Holy. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. these tournaments uh, happening um, on the weekend, tomorrow, and then the day after, right? Two days, I think. Is it? Or is it one day again? I don't remember. I think it's two days. I don't actually remember. Uh, but yeah, so <coughs> that, look forward to that. Um, as well as go, go, go follow all these beautiful people, yeah. you know, I here. Like Frankie, Anot, Sirk, Uzma, Klu. Sirk, who wasn't able to be with us. Adrian, Toma, Levi, they're all the goats on what they do, making content, you know? Um, but yeah, they, they, uh, I appreciate them being here today and joining my uh, Haha Funny event from Small Streamer. But yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a good time. And I hope we were able to share a lot of our passionate thoughts about the game as much as the community. Um, 